So here we are. Here we are. We're here finally we going to do it. Here we are, still continuing our trend of we'll never play this game. We could never. Well, actually, my, my honestly, my my oh. primary uh, opposition to playing this game was a I didn't think I was good enough to do it, yeah. uh, and we've gotten better over the years, right? And the other thing is that our PS2 recording setups always been up until finicky. very recently sucked. Mm. They sucked, but mm. I, uh, I we were able to. Twist some knobs and and we turn bounced around between doing the Xbox version, but of course you would want to do the version that has the least amount of problems possible and, and is the most classic. So this do is, you, a gr this is you, the greatest hits version of Silent Hill Two, which is hits a you. which is probably the purest. Like the PC version has a little bit of bugs, but you can mod it to go up to 1080p and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, and the right. HD collection. Well, well, we, yeah. uh, I'm going to be using uh, the greatest hits new game plus. Feature to put bullet adjust times three. Bullet adjust. Uh, that'll give me three times as much ammo because I thought I thought it meant gave you three bullets. I'm like, Ooh. the combat in this game is not great, and I don't particularly enjoy it. It's it's probably the one and, real and it, and sticking it's, point. I wouldn't call it a sticking point. I think it's fine for its type and its time, but going back to it, going back to it, it's like I don't really want to go through the combat. It's not really all that the much. focus is it? it. The focus is the story, the characterization, stuff like that. Yes. So. A couple ground rules. Matt, you and I will rules. shut our damn mouths during these cutscenes. Well, we can burp and fart. No. Because sometimes you have to. Sometimes you have to. I think it's pretty good. Is, and I, this is the best survival horror game? Yeah, I would I would consider this to be the still reigning champ number one survival horror game of all time. So let's start the main scenario. Letter from Silent Heaven. Um, uh, let's action level uh, normal because I'm using the bullet shit. So yeah, that makes sense. And riddle, riddle level, level normal, which will help if I have to use a guide if I get stuck because it's been like 13 fucking years since I played this. It's been a little while. Man, the cutscenes in these games are astounding. Just amazing. Wait, is this a cutscene? Are we supposed to be talking? This is so new. This is, this is a cutscene. <laughs> but I don't think he talks. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I, I remember the, the cutscenes in view. which he does and does not talk. This He's totally silent. Except for this. Uh, this is a... I'm not going to pick it up. That is a channeling stone that is used to get the UFO ending. Well... I don't want to get the UFO ending. Can we get the dog ending? No. Damn it! Uh, dog <laughs> ending requires several playthroughs. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, and cuts the game short. Hey, by the way... Uh, but... When we finish this LP, I will go to... find. I will yeah. do something. Yeah, do a thing. I will figure something do out. A thing. Could Mary really be there? Is she really alive? Waiting for me? I fucking love that intro. I absolutely adore that intro. Nice car. You, you pick up the map. Because the game gets really hard if you don't pick up the map. I can imagine. Uh, and here it is. We're in Toluca County out here. Toluca County. Which is totally, is totally like fake ass, not real place. Where, where is my house? Uh, all, right here on the screen already that fucked up the Silent Hill everything yeah, already. I bet, I bet. One, Sybil from Silent Hill 1 is from Brams, which is apparently... 265 miles, miles. Yeah. from Silent Hill. It's quite a drive. It's not just Also, like... Old Silent Hill, which is where Silent Hill 1 takes place, is apparently 50 miles away God. from New Silent Hill. Guy, if you if you look at an interview with Guy Sihi, he's old now. Mm. But... At the time. He looks like... J Wait, how does there no memory card inserted? Because <laughs> I don't think you have one inserted. Whoops, one second. All right, and we're back. A little memory card snafu there. Oh, a little bit. It's fine. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know what? Uh oh, don't look at those. No. Don't look at those. Those are lies. <laughs> like every everything about this game's presentation. Like the game. Like it's hard to tell there because of the way that I was doing it. But the game like auto locked me to this perspective. Until and I hit L two to move over, but it keeps trying to push me back because it wants me to. Oh. It wants me to be off kilter. It wants you to feel uncomfortable. And right away, cemetery. Yeah, James is like, oh god, this is great. This is one of the details I really like. I if you run for a long time, he starts panting. And back in the day, that was actually like, yeah, something. yeah, yeah. That was, like, I'm glad it's not. Oh, geez, I need to like upgrade my stamina meter and be like an idiot like Seabass. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm looking for my mama. I, I mean, my mother. I'm sorry. 
It's not your no, problem. I, I hope you find them. Yeah, you too. So that's probably the most bizarrely acted cutscene in the entire game. Yeah, a little weird. And a little weird. it's part of the reason why I feel like a lot of people didn't give this game a chance. Or that's the scene that sticks with them when they think of the voice acting being bad in this game. Mm. Because, like, we're ju they're jumping between both characters being speaking normally and speaking like huge weirdos that yeah. don't know how to interact she with humans. She really frightened for no reason. Yes, and, and that's the takeaway. It's not that the acting... Is poor. It's that the characters Their tones are, are all acting over the place. super weird, and they're yeah. all over the place. Also, I had to stifle a laugh when she said "my mama" because I just thought of Blanca. Yeah, I know you thought of Blanca. <laughs> I, know. I know. So here's a chainsaw. That's fucked up. We're gonna leave that chainsaw there. Yeah. Okay. No, we're not. We're gonna grab it. This is a this is a new game plus weapon. Fred Durst weapons. It's an extreme. It has extremely high attack power. I should think. So you you start it up. And then your movement turns to shit. What's your... Yeah, look at wow. it go. Wow. It's a nice arc. Nice arc. And that's the chainsaw. Alright, now drop it forever. So the deal with uh, the deal with Angela is that uh, she's supposed to look like that. And it's supposed to be confusing. Because she is a teenager in a young, who, in a who has been body. aged beyond her years. Okay. Right. Because of... Yeah, I get that now with her voice acting. It, she seemed more like... Like a kid. Yeah. Okay. But she's had a rough life. It seemed like it. She's wearing rags. Um, I mentioned earlier how I read some things about two specific characters, Angela and Eddie. Yeah, that's right. Angela is named after Sandra Bullock's character in The Net. Okay. And you might think, you're crazy, Matt, that's stupid. Does but then it, no. when you see that Silent Hill 1 was completely modeled after the fucking town in Kindergarten Cop. It's not really shocking. Anything goes. Yeah, starting for a long history of Silent Hill games being like, I don't know what's going on. That's fucking crazy shit. <laughs> what, like, is their own, like, development studio haunted? Like, yeah, it's all haunted, shit. man. So, right away. Yeah, Angela off. was right. Yes! They are. <laughs> Ooh. Spooky. <laughs> I'm gonna be able to break down just in three short ways why the HD collection is fucked up. <laughs> yeah, th th we're in a good spot for it. Uh, there's a couple of reasons. One, the early scene in which uh, we were by James's car, mm -hmm. they completely retextured the streets so that it looks newly paved, which is kind of weird. Second, that scene that we just saw with the lying figure, the fog isn't close enough to the character, so okay. you see the lying figure plain as day. Which is totally easy. Nearly, so, just based on that, you can see where when you have a survival yeah. horror game, and you have these little fucked up graphical things that in another genre, so that's, that's, yeah. is not a big deal. But it, here, it, big deal. It is. But probably the worst one is that because they didn't have all the original audio for this, of course they didn't. For this game. Uh, when Why they, did Konami when they, save that? When they redubbed the scene with Troy Baker uh, when Mary's talking mm -hmm. in, in the, uh, about her letter, they couldn't for some fucking reason, despite Akira Yamaoka still being on fucking staff, yeah. they could not find the original acoustic guitar version of that song. Mm -hmm. So they used the electric guitar version that sometimes plays during the credits. And it's like, no, that's not the same fucking scene, guys. Mm -hmm. Come on. So this is very reminiscent of the Silent Hill 1 intro. Yeah, you yeah. go down barbed wire. Very creepy. And there's our favorite noise in the world. Static. Why noise? So right here, James shows himself to be like one of the weirder side, one of bit. the weirder like horror protagonists. Cause he'll just go like the monsters right there. You can see it right there. Oh my god, you're totally right. Well, that's not supposed to be viewed, or no, you can see it. No, I mean, oh, okay, yeah, it's it's clearly there. Yeah, that All was right. awesome, because instead of running away and going back the way he came... I'm just gonna just grab get a piece of wood. Grab a stick and stomp this fucker. Is dead? So... Oh, yeah. What the? I'd better take it anyway. I might need it. Hmm. Now we got the radio. In Silent Hill 2, it started the trend of having a psychological bent to the horror, and it, it takes inspiration a lot from Jacob's Ladder. So what you get is all, all the enemies have to do with James and Mary. Mm -hmm. So let's take the lying figure, for example. 
The lying figure is walking around and appears to be in a straitjacket. Yeah. With huge exposed butt stuff. And spits horrible acid right. towards you. It's quite an enemy. Now, this is this can can be interpreted as a sick person in yeah. a straitjacket. Yeah. Um, they make a cockroach pest skittering noise when you knock them down on the floor. Mm -hmm. And the spit is supposed to be symbolic of Mary in her final days of terminal illness spitting oh, harsh you know, words. Right, right. Like, oh. harsh words towards James and, like, becoming violently yeah, ill. Yeah, okay. And the, uh, all of them have, are sexualized and have a weird yes. shine to them. Yeah, like, they're slimy with stuff. It's, they are either supposed to be slimy with stuff, quote-unquote, yeah, or they are supposed to resemble the texture of condoms. Which makes sense because in the movie, yeah. the guy that played uh, the interpretive dancer that was playing the yeah. the line figure, he's like, I actually have to get into this full body condom because so, that's how they did it. So the deal with that, and uh, it has to do with James having a wife who is terminally ill mm -hmm. over an incredibly long period of time, has like desires right, right and becomes right. frustrated and disgusted with himself uh -huh. over those so so okay. did he cheat on his wife i don't know so that's the noise i was referring to that skittering horrible noise right yeah so there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of extra uh, items being hit all over the place health yeah, items yeah, yeah. ammo stuff like that i'm not going to be picking up most of them because i don't remember where most of them are but I am going to be checking out the, the, the points of interest. Well, we got to go to Happy Burger. And man. Yeah, you, you actually have to go to Happy Burger. <laughs> but uh, here's Neely's Bar. There's Happy Burger. Here's a special thing on Saul Street, which we're going to go check out. And then we go down to the apartments. Uh, a place of interest. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Neely's Bar is home sure to you know. my very favorite yep. text icon in anything. There was a hole here. It's gone now. This is, uh, this is great. This is never explained. Ever. Uh, depending on how much you want to believe they were thinking ahead, this could imply that this had a Silent Hill 4 hole. Yeah, no. But I don't think so. I think no. it's just, just creepy. As far as atmosphere goes, that shit kicks ass. It's dire. It's a dire saying, regardless. They've had some use. And now we're at Happy Burger. Yeah. Yeah, Happy Burger. Can't go into Happy Burger. So I love the idea of a place called Happy Burger within Silent Hill. Oh, it's because the best. it's the best, like most contrasting thing ever. Yeah. Uh, hey, man. Hey, look, there's the Puppy and Fireworks store. I, dude, I would love to go to a Puppy <laughs> and Fireworks store. <laughs> but I don't think Silent Hill would have that chain. Oh yeah. Yeah. No. So this is one of the things I really like. RE2 did this, but Silent Hill 2 takes it to a new extreme in which they don't shine a lot of items, but they do have James they, look at them. Yeah, okay. Like his, his head tracks them slightly. So this is a new game plus weapon. Uh, it's called the Hyperspray. Hyperspray? Uh, depending on your ranking, you get various different kinds of Hyperspray. Mm -hmm. The best ranking gets you the best Hyperspray. Uh, the, the baseline Hyperspray that I have here is damaging to myself as well. So we're oh, never going to oh, use oh, it. Oh, yeah, well, he, mm. so you mentioned you mentioned Troy Baker yeah. before. So he played James in the he HD plays collection? He plays James in the HD collection. Now that sucks because... So is that like a good voice actor that, that is really good at emoting? Does that ruin it? Uh, well, part of the reason... He's a great voice actor. Part of the reason that it ruins it is that they were not under the voice direction of the original cast. Of course not. Uh, they're, they, they're under... The uh, voice direction for this game went so far as to model the characters after the voice actors. Mm -hmm. So changing those actors is kind of egregious. Yeah, when that was the original uh, And idea. in addition, due to some kind of production error, uh, if you listen really closely, you'll find out that they are very literally dubbing over the old soundtrack, and you can still hear the old lines are you serious? underneath it. Are you, I, didn't, I don't remember that at all. Well, I didn't play it, but I don't remember that in the list of... It, like super yeah. giant errors. I'm not sure if it's collection. just on the Hill 3, but I think it's in both that you can actually hear the old track underneath. I'm always confused about this. In the HD collection, I know that one or both games you can switch to the old voice actor. Silent Hill 2, you can. Silent Hill 3, 3, you cannot. Why? Or do I have that backwards? 
I think it was Silent Hill 2. I think That's Silent Hill 2 because, yes, I remember, because Guy Sehe got all the voice actors to agree at the last second to waive their rights to the royalties because Konami wouldn't pay them. Uh, and they, so yeah, this door opens up into nightmares, but not now. Mm. And the other thing about, like, the new voice acting is that even if it's good or bad, like, in the ancient version, it leaves such a sour taste in your mouth, just the idea that Konami just fucks over their voice actors for no real reason. Yeah, and in addition, like, even if the new voice acting was great, it's like, having recognizable actors in a game like this actually really, really takes away. After the fact. Yeah. Yeah. So this this part is to me probably the scariest point in the entire game because hmm. this apartment is not well lit and as you can tell I do not have a flashlight. No, you do not. And I don't like that very much. So let's go to the second floor and start exploring this fucking creepy ass apartment. It's like Wooly's place is creepy. Wooly's place is fucking creepy. <laughs> So here we have a trash chute just packed with garbage. It's packed in there. There's some kind of strange garbage in the hole. <laughs> As opposed to that normal garbage. As opposed like, to that normal garbage. To. I really like this scene. Because, look, you get this nice little dress. You get a flashlight. Put it on. That's, that's shining a bright beam of light, light in your right face. In face yeah. It's like, dude, get real. And if you take the time to examine Mary's photograph, you will notice... It's the same dress. It's the same dress. Mm. So it's Mary is just staring at you, just going, dude, look at yourself. Oh. And as you do that. And then the, the, the mannequin starts. Uh, a slimy, leg-based, sexy thing wakes up. You guys are creepy. Yeah. Ugh. God, just thinking about the enemies in, in Downcoming makes me super angry. Yeah. How all of them were terrible. I'm, I'm kind of bummed that those weren't uh, in any of, like, well, I barely remember the second movie, but I, I think those mannequin things are fucking radical, and it kind of sucks that they weren't in the movie at all. There is, in the second movie, there is the implication of a similar type. Implication. Yeah, of a similar type of enemy. Okay, um, well, I don't care. Uh, it's the mannequin it's not monster. not about the movies. It's least. the mannequin monster in the second one. That, it's it's a it's a bit of an homage. It's I the, thought you didn't watch the second movie. I recently watched it. Oh shit! I recently watched. How'd you this. how'd you think of what'd you think of that? It's a fucking train wreck, dude. It's the worst. It's a fucking absolute. Train I wreck. watched it the one time too, and that was just like this is the f- this is one of the greatest drop offs of quality, and not like the first. Final movie. one by Christoph Gans is okay. It's no classic, but it's fine. It's got some serious problems, but it's okay, I guess. But that second one is a fucking mess. Yeah. Oh, there you are. Oh, God. That was a swing and a miss. Totally missed. Uh-oh. He missed. Whoa, he's working out. Whoa. So, so oh, that, that's cool. So that twisting shit has uh, two purposes. Yeah. One, uh, three, actually. Uh, oh, my God. Get back here. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. It's got to be. Gotcha. Nope. Oh wow, he hit me. Oh. Come on, guy, you're, go. you're dragging down this LP. A little you bit. Damn enemy. Jeez, look at him go. Where the fuck did he go? You know. Uh, yeah. Holy shit! Uh, he's not bothering you. He's even look at, yeah, but I I don't know what else is in here, so I need to. Uh, where where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> he's blind you. How? No, he's just really fast. No! Okay, no. He's, he's stuck in a river. Oh, no! Oh! They loud, dude! Oh, my God. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. These sexy lady legs. Oh, so man. So hot. I'm gonna get you. Okay. I hope it starts not doing the same thing. You're gonna have a fucking road race between these two. Get out of here, you fucking mannequin freakazoid. Please go away. Whoa! Whoa. I've never seen that in all my time and all my years at this in game. All, in all your decades of playing this, never ever have I seen anything like that. Yeah, try and get away from me here. He's gonna find a way. He really doesn't want to get hit by your by your whacking stick. And he's hitting me. Wow. He's hitting her. He's gonna hit you. Oh my god. Weird. So I was trying to say it earlier, but I got. Sidetracked by down. that fucking craziness. It's supposed to look like um, 
the Jacob's Ladder uh, scare effect. Yes. It's also supposed to look like someone going through their death throes as they die in a hospital bed. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Which feeds into the whole your terminal wife illness thing. Yeah, yeah. wife thing. Okay. Mm. Ow! Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, wait! Damn it. I thought we were done with shit, kids. I thought we were done with shit, kids. So I can't get that despite the fact that I have a stick in yeah, my hand. Yeah, don't use that. It's a yeah. shopping cart. What's that doing here? Pick up the gun, Pick James. up the gun. Handgun. I've got a handgun. Gun, 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 gun! <laughs> You've unlocked a gun! Sticks times... What the fuck? Here we go. Holy shit. Here we go. And look, that's my favorite part. Yeah, it's, it's when you see that he's clearly emitting his own light. Yeah, yeah. So oh, as uh, I hope uh, people aren't too upset over my my decision to use the 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 three times bullet adjust thing. And oh, by the way, you notice that uh, he's gone. He's gone. And but as anyway. you can tell from that wonderful melee combat that we had earlier, uh, there's a reason. Yeah, no, there's the. I mean, it's got to be. Gotcha. Nope. Oh wow, he hit me. Oh. Alright, what's in room 202? I hope something. Nothing. <laughs> so remember when I said that James jumps to dumb conclusions? A lot. So, this this is one of those times. Shove your face in there. <gasps> now, uh, that vibrates quite strongly. Uh when that happens. It's actually really nice. And it's vibrating quite strongly now. That ah, turned out fine. Okay, the clock key was totally fucking there, sure. Yeah. And there's just, there's literally a little bio slime on the walls there. A little, little, little bit of bio slime. Yeah. Sorry, I, I, I had to I had to get up uh, and get some lozenges. Lozenges. Because I'm quite ill. Yeah, your throat took a beating the other night. Yeah, sure did. <laughs> so I've used the clock key. Clock key puzzle is now available. It's now it's now, now available to be solved. Now since we're on normal, this puzzle is actually quite simple. Mm -hmm. But let's see if I can remember how to do it. What time is it supposed to be? I it's thought for sure it was gonna be like ten ten. Ten puzzle time? I think it is, Matt. Try nine thirty. I'm gonna try nine thirty. So what, it was like 10.08? Yeah. 9.08? It's 10.08, 10, 10, 9, uh, 9, 9, 9, 15. Yeah, all right, sure. So, now that I've done that, the nail has retracted. Okay, so I... We were playing what recently? Uh, we were talking about Resident Evil, and like, yeah, okay, Spencer's nuts, and he has all these crazy clandestine espionage shit in his thing because he likes that. But what is the justification for a puzzle to be constructed in uh, Silent Hill? In Silent Hill? Magic. Just, okay. Silent Hill gets a free pass. Because magic. Because it's magic. magic. Okay. All well, right. You know, a save point. Save, yeah. They're very aggressive about save points in Silent Hill too. It's something I really, really enjoy. Because if we fuck up, then it'll be easy to go back. Hey, if kids are playing this in the future and they fuck up, they have all these save points. I don't know why the Japanese developers sound like... 1930s gangsta. I'm also not quite sure. Ah, yes! Well, so this is where our buddy was hanging out earlier. Yeah, and the right camera on angle this... has aggressively changed. Yeah, right here on that spot. Uh, it's got stain on the floor. That's where he was. Yeah, the stain. A lot of stains. A lot of stains. It was very stainy. Stains. Yeah. I have a story about stains coming up. Ew. It regards this game. Oh, okay. It actually has to do with this game. <laughs> Does not have to do with me possibly <laughs> soiling myself. I promise. <laughs> So I soiled myself while playing this game. <laughs> That's the See, story. it's related. Yeah. So fuck that. 
That was way more bizarre than I remember. And when I say bizarre, I mean the fact that why did James start shooting for no real reason? Uh, because uh, Pyramid Head, which is that monster's name, everybody, yeah. started to come towards his closet. It really, I didn't get that at all. He was just kind of making vague movements. And I had a hard time not laughing because as soon as Pyramid, I, like people say he's having sex or doing, you know, there's one, there are, there, there are three interpretations as to what's happening here. All right, please go. One is, is you don't see it very well. No. And a lot of people are like, is he like, like raping both of those creepy sex monsters? No. Because he, there was no thrust. He's, he's just he, kind of, no, he's just, it, this is wild flailing. Yeah. Is he trying to shove them down the garbage chute? Mm. Possibly. Is he just like manhandling them and tearing them apart? Yeah, maybe one of the, one of those three things. Now, my favorite one is Pyramid Head just can't get those mannequins put away. Can't put them away. <laughs> He's trying to shove them in the overhead cover. He's like, oh god! But the important thing is that that scene is really weird. You just pop them three times, walk over, and give him a little kicky, give him a little kicky poo. Use all the bullets. Gotcha. Wow, that took a lot more. And then yeah. I, then I fucking kicked you for good measure. And the horse you rode in on. I actually went through this a different way than I thought than I usually do. So Ooh. I'm a bit lost. Spicing it up. I'm a bit lost. Spicing up for the viewers. You have some canned juice. <laughs> the juice. Let's uh let's examine this canned juice, shall we? Please. It's a six pack of canned juice. It's in the hallway. It's pretty, hallway juice. Yeah, it's pretty good. When you're when you're having an epic trip down the hallway, you need some can. All right, let's let's go through the courtyard. Yeah, why not? Courtyards are fun. Nothing ever better. I have more courtyard. keys than I usually have at this point. Wow. Um, I instead of clearing out areas, I ended up accidentally getting all the keys, and now I have to remember what areas I have and have not gone to. Mm -hmm. So we're coming up to a, a straight up Rosemary's Baby reference here. Oh yeah. In which there's a goddamn <laughs> creepy stroller. You got a coin. I got a coin. And now I'm out of here. Fuck off, fuckers. I find the enemies in a pool is kind of a laughable situation. Oh, don't worry about it. No, I, I just mean like they're it's around a funny a, they're place around a creepy baby the... stroller. At least that's creepy. In a pool. In a pool. <laughs> Which is weird. So there's a dead guy in this fridge. Yeah. And somebody's throwing up. And I'm feeling like I'm going to start throwing up because of the sensation of people throwing up. Around you. <laughs> Into your hair. And then James just started puking all over, and I really Do you think like, now that we're now do you think we're going bald, we're going to eventually become immune to the sensation of people vomiting in our hair? Yeah, well, logically, that's yeah, why that's I've why been we've doing chosen it. to that's do it. That's why I've chosen. Yeah, I took those pills. Eddie, be careful. James, I, I um. You be careful too. <laughs> so there's a lot going on in this scene. Ah, I'm so hungry. Uh, <laughs> so first of all, the, first, <laughs> the very first thing Eddie says when you meet him is, I didn't kill that guy. Yeah. I didn't kill that guy. I promise it wasn't me. I didn't kill that guy. Mm-hmm. Which means he killed that guy. Which means he killed that guy. <laughs> it's it's the, the classic me thinks the lady doth protest too much. Ah, uh, yes. Whoa! My... My apartment's making crazy Silent Hill noises. What the fuck was that? I have no idea. That's the scariest thing I've ever heard in my life. Well, I'm off. Uh, Solid Snake talks about it in Metal Gear, something called Killer's Guilt. Mm, yeah. Which is the first yeah, time yeah, you kill okay. somebody... You you can you get violently ill. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, and the other thing is, there's a there's a production story behind that. Originally, that scene was way more graphic, okay. and had uh, him vomiting like crazy, and sloshing around, yeah. and all sorts of stuff. Some some good vomit tech. They had it all recorded, and it was all good to go. And then a power outage caused them to lose everything. Oh no! And they lost the entire scene. <laughs> oh. Um. And they took that. At, so they they were they basically took that as a sign? they were internally debating whether or not they were going redo too it. far. And then when that happened, they had to redo the entire thing. Mm. They took it as a sign. Yeah, you know what? You know what? It might be. We, better it's off. probably too far. Uh. So again, Eddie is a second character that I read. Again, he's named after Eddie because they were fans of Eddie Murphy. 
Nice. Like, what? Why would you name a white guy who's throwing up and he's like a weirdo after Eddie Murphy? He was was this prior to opposite. Nutty Professor? It's, it was prior to Pluto Nash. Oh. Now, this was in an episode of Friends, and it's a good piece of advice. I always knew that we'd get to Friends. It's a good piece of advice to everyone regardless. Do not, depending on the size of your garbage chute, don't throw pizza boxes down there. They will clog up the chute. You can go down to your basement and throw them into the recycling thing or whatever. Yeah. But just they'll clog it up and then the maintenance guy has to do it. Mm-hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this can of juice to dislodge all this garbage. Shut up. Is this real? Yeah. That's what you do. It's the, the, okay. Why is garbage bags with duct tape all around them so this this, this can't get out. <laughs> I got the old man coin. The police announced today that Walter Sullivan, who was arrested on the 18th of this month for the brutal murder of Billy Locaine and his sister Miriam, committed suicide in his jail cell early on the morning of the 22nd. He was drunk. According to the police statement, Sullivan used a soup spoon to stab himself in the neck, Damn. severing his carotid artery. By the time the guard discovered him, Sullivan was dead from blood loss, the spoon buried two inches in his neck. An old schoolmate of Walter Sullivan from his hometown of Pleasant River said he didn't look like the type of guy who would kill kids. <laughs> but I do remember that just before they arrested him, he was blurting out all sorts of strange stuff like, he's trying to kill me, he's trying to punish me, the monster, the red devil, forgive me, it, I did it, but it wasn't me. That's confusing. The schoolmate then added, I guess now that I think of it, he was kind of crazy. He was a little nuts. See that town? So you promise? I love that. I say that to myself sometimes because I'm a weirdo. Yeah. But I love this game. That looks like a very fire escapey type door. Let's use this fire escape and let's get out. Let's get out. Let's of this get apartment. Out. Apartment building. Well, there's a reason it was locked. Shit. When they put in the new apartment next door, they cut off the fire escape. Mm. There's no fire escape here. It's gone now. Now, unfortunately, in this part might get a little frustrating. Mm. There's no map. For this apartment building. Well, no. Because it's not the same apartment building. No, it's, it's the one where we're all... Therefore, all. I have to try and remember this place's layout in my fucking head. Perfect. Which is tough. You have a stick. No. It has to be your arm. I'll he doesn't... You. So the part where he doesn't even roll up his sleeve is the part that gets me. 13, 14, 7, 16... 13, 24... Remember that note, man. Okay. Remember it well. 36, 24, 36. <laughs> I forgot. 13... F- oh, fuck. <laughs> I also forgot. <laughs> then... 7... 16... Then... Yes! There's 16! Got it. Handgun bullets. Handgun bullets. Handgun Hang bullets. bullets. I got 90 handgun bullets there. Uh, you might need some more. And it's... Oh, it's a nice little... No way. No way! There is a map. I never knew. Blue Creek Apartment. I never knew. Well, you learn something new almost every time you play a game, maybe. Well, I'm really happy. This makes this part, like, totally easier. Okay, good, good, good. Having met, like, I don't know... Like, if but finding... The question ma- is, why did you lie earlier about there not being a map? I didn't lie. I was mistaken. <laughs> There's a difference, man. Yeah, I know. There's a difference between lies and being mistaken. <laughs> That's not fair. Now, I can understand how frustrated Wooly gets sometimes. Oh, no, but he, he's always lying on uh, yeah, purpose. Yeah, no, that's true, but... See, that's because we think he's so smart that he would never make a mistake. This Fuck nice you. mix of mundanity with absurdity Mm-mm. is is a nice it's hallmark strong. of the of the early Silent Hill games. Yeah, where it's like this is the craziest shit in the world. And I like how they really continued that in the last two games. If you're not familiar with this series and you've only and you're watching this and you've watched our other LPs, mm. this must be weird. Right? Like, just absolutely baffling. They're cockroaches. Giant, skittering cockroaches. With human faces? A little bit, actually. Oh, uh, no, it's not fun. But, uh, so, what? Oh, I thought... Oh, yeah, me too. Uh, so, uh, Masahiro Ito, the guy who designed all these, mm. he broke down, like, all the stuff I'm talking about, like, the enemies are supposed to look like condoms, they're supposed to be this, they're supposed to be that. These all come from interviews and design works and stuff like that. Yeah. For the cockroaches... 
It's like we wanted to put a bug enemy in the game. And when asked, like, well, okay, but where do they come from, though? No, it's like, up. it's Silent Hill's latent power. It's just leftovers from Silent Hill 1. And all it can manifest in is, like, lower forms of life, like bugs. Sure. Yeah. But it, it's clearly the bug enemies were added because bugs are creepy. And nobody likes them. And nobody likes them. <laughs> Unlike almost everything else in the entire game. Look at this new door in this destroyed apartment. Yeah, and brand new door. Next this apartment started door. off normal mm. and has be, be, become more and more unbelievable as time goes on. A little bit. It's 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 evolving to a, a ludicrous degree. Oh, it's you. Just like Eddie, there's a lot going on yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So first of all, I I want to point out the framing of this scene is amazing. Yeah, against the mirror. And where it it's framed so that for most of the shot, it's just him looking at her. Yeah. But it's in the reflection. Yeah. But it's also like no, you're like me. No, I'm not. But mm -hmm. he has to look at himself if, as he's when talking. he's saying right, this. Right, right, right. And he admits, I'm a, I'm I'm not crazy. He said, don't think. And. Yeah. As you are coming to the realization, like, everyone everyone you are running into here is damaged. Yeah. Like, everyone here, there is something wrong with them. And that music, that, that song is called Promise. That's the song I think of usually when I think of Silent Hill. Yeah, because it's such a good track that when they were promoting the movie, they used it as the trailer they did, music. They did, they did. And for the first movie, I think almost all, all if not of it, all of the soundtrack Yamoka, is yeah. just... Uh, Yamoka using bits and pieces of old soundtracks mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because they're fucking sick. I don't think the second one used any. I can't remember, but I also I don't these. remember. Rebirth is a new game plus only ending. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition, and I don't, I don't want to get that for our LP. I, I don't think that's appropriate. But we're probably in the greatest his version. Yes. But I like one of the original three endings is I think the one that we should. All right, all right. No, we should aim enough. for the, the the purest experience possible. F fair enough. So, here's a puzzle. So all your coins are like prisoners coin and. I have I things. have three coins. Oh okay, I thought you had. It, the harder versions of this puzzle I believe has five. So there's snake, the old man, and the prisoner. Mm -hmm. I don't remember where any of these fucking go. Nice. Now I'll put the prisoner here, and then I'll put the old man in the middle. And if it's wrong, then I'll switch them out. I'll old, switch those last. The old last gray mare, yeah. She ain't what you she used to be. She ain't what she used to be. Did I do it? Unclear. Did I do it? No, I didn't. Nice. Damn it. Oh, I I know these. Like I should know this, right? After all this time. Well, you know. Like I I redid this. Oh. Yeah! yeah! Did it. Aced it, first try. So I got the Lynn house key. That, was, that wasn't too bad. No, it wasn't. It wasn't too bad. They're like, oh, I didn't Oh, I didn't know you had 90 bullets. Oh. I have a lot of bullets. I have an absurdly high amount of oh, bullets. Oh, fuck. That's what happens when you triple the amount of bullets. But I'd have a lot of bullets even if I didn't... Even if I hadn't have done that. It's true. You would have had like 40 by now. So they give you enough bullets to like fight guys on the street, but on the street you never have to fight guys. Yeah, it's ever. Really... So yeah, back upstairs with me. All right, it's the Lynn House key. Lynn House, what do you got? What you got, Lynn? Nothing. You have okay. light. You have actual Which light. Which is a hot commodity around here. A hot fucking commodity. <laughs> and we have a letter. And yes. Uh. Mm. Or not. It's just the key then. Okay then. You know who voiced Samus? Who? Jennifer Hill. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's get out of this apartment. I need to get out. Home stretch. I need to get out. Almost be in the game. Almost. <laughs> it's about one fourth of the game. <laughs> well. Now that one is hmm. more more obviously some kind of sexual assault. Yes. That's the yeah. and that's the great cleaver. That the he, great cleaver. Sorry, no, the great knife. The, the great knife, yes. Which is so heavy that it slows to, him down. To ludicrous degrees. Fuck you, buddy. Uh, I can run around. Now he is. He oh! Is strong. So that hit hurt like hell. Shit. He has an overhand swing, which I hope we don't see. It's an instant kill. When Ito designed Pyramid Head, 
He wanted it. Oh, that was that, that was the hit. That was the hit. And you listen to that. He's scampering away. It's the air raid sirens. Ah, yeah. It's and he's totally. decided to leave. And he's just hey. But when Ito Sir? designed Pyramid Head, he designed the 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 pyramid because he wanted to make it look like it hurt to wear. Wear right, and yeah, a triangle shape is definitely. And it sure does. He just went into the water. He just goes wow, into the water. This is a flooded uh, flooded area, and he opens the door on oh, his way out. Neat, neat. And that causes the uh, area to deflect. Full wheel ram. Yeah. So that's the, your first run in with Pyramid Head. A that's badass weird. that's not even really a boss fight. Not really. Unbeatable. Like I didn't win. He left. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Shit. Knife is a is a is a symbol. It's a metaphorical symbol. It's, it's got a lot be. of depth it's to it. Gotta be. It it is this giant, enormous weight mm. that Pyramid Head is dragging around with him. That is that is powerful, but makes him slow. And yeah. it's and it's a metaphor for. James carrying around Mary's death. Yeah, the weight on his shoulders. Yeah, it's also something that's like damaging to. It, it's like it's it gives him purpose, but at the same time, it's ruining him. You didn't love Mary anyway. Wait, how do you know Mary's name? Fucking shit kids. Fucking shit kids. But this is a real shit kid. Mm -hmm. And as a whiny brat, getting that was perfect. Getting a real whiny brat really makes a big difference. Yeah. And I, I, again, like every time you meet a character, the framing is perfect. Where you meet Laura in front of this like childlike, yeah, like, like um, little oh look, it's happy cats and stuff. Yeah, exactly. And also, yeah, like the framing of it was perfectly straight. And yeah. so you're when you're walking, and she's just like uh, leaning on the wall. Perfect. This, this so much of this game just nails it. I don't know if it's from practice or if they were just geniuses or what. They just took their time, I think. So we're in Rosewater Park. Maybe we're at our special place. This gazebo. Nah, it's not the gazebo. Man, whoa, whoa, this whoa. is a great place. What a fucking amazing job that they did on the fog in this game. Yeah, yeah. Look, there yeah, is no really hint slowly. that this is a technical limitation. Yeah, exactly. It, not, not like Turok, for example. And the reason why this is so hard to port and why every version of this, except for this version, has bugs is because the PS2 is really good at transparent textures, mm. which is a technical spec that nothing would ever have ever again because this is pretty much all it's good for. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Plus, like, I mean, it was originally developed for the PS2, so of course they would design the game. Uh, around. All right, it's, it's weird bullshit. Yeah, exactly. I mean, when you've got Mary? Toy Story graphics. Your face, your voice, just your hair and clothes are different. Your name is Maria. It's okay? Yeah, fine. So, I mean, yeah. we've met another fucking weirdo character. Yeah, we have. Of note is the fact that, uh, if you look back, is that she has a butterfly tattoo. I noticed. On yeah. her hip. Also of note is that this, uh... Hot Lake appears to be made out of concrete. It does seem the to be water made does out. not move in any case. And in the HD collection, you're able to tell that this uh, line actually just stops in midair. Nice, because the fog doesn't come close course, in enough. Of course, Mary's weird. Uh, Maria is weird, very demure. demure yeah. Whereas Maria is very sultry, very yeah. sexy, uh, and their faces it all out there. Their faces are the same. But everything else about them is different. Their clothes, their body type, the size of their bodies, their proportions. Maria's skull is different proportion. Okay. Her wow. hair is... The only thing that's the same is their face. Okay. Uh, very weird. Very unsettling. So, yeah. Uh, Maria does follow you. Wow, okay. Technically, you escort her. You don't really have to. You don't really have to pay attention. Okay, good. And here in Jack's Inn, there's a safe point. Yeah, around the hood of the car. Yeah. At Jack's Inn, this shitty, shady motel. Jack's Inn? That's what it's called? It's called Jack's Inn. Jeez. And if you look, it's pretty much the motel from Commando. Ew, yeah, you're totally right. Where, you know, people go to have sex away from their terminally ill wives. Yeah, so that's why she said... Mm, Maybe. Okay. okay. All right, Matt, we gotta get to that hotel. So we're traveling with our not wife. With our not wife. I already lost my wife. Our wife was our wife was copyrighted, 
And then we had to get a knockoff wife. Yeah. And then this wife is gonna also ruin your life. James needs waifus badly. So he actually does. Let's see, how, how am I supposed to get to that uh, lake? Okay, here we Here's go. There's a boat, idiot. Here's the Lakeview Hotel. It's uh -huh. way over there. And if Why do they call it the Lakeview Hotel? This is the, <laughs> the lake is right here. So we have a bit of downtime. Yeah, that's that's cool because we're all about the downtime. Hey, I love downtime. Now, most people during downtime will just sit back and take it easy, but we're going to sit forward and take it hard. Yeah. You that, guys want to take it hard? That sounded better in my head. Yeah, it sounded better um, in your head, I bet. Oh, don't worry. You'll get cheered up at the amusement Maria, you're, you're park that has, that has you're guys right, dressed yeah. up as Pyramid Head. Well, that's... That's Wouldn't that be awesome? No. You go inside. Da, 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 no. Yeah. So that song is horrifying now. It is. You're right. You're not wrong. Yeah. Hey, wasn't there? Whoa. <laughs> yeah. They just flop out around here. That's the dumbest. Yeah. Just totally normal. Which is I guess correct. Average. James is like average, but in a different way. He's 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 got specifics. Yeah. He's got a. Yeah. I know. It's like they're failing to do a Tony Hawk trick on the other side of the railing. Don't go to Rosewater Park. Nope. And Silent Hill Historical Society is underlined. <laughs> so but, we had this fire. But that that place is uh, locked off. But Pete's Bolo-Rama is totally highlighted. So, let's go down to Pete's Bolo-Rama. Again, much like Happy Burger, Pete's Bolo-Rama it's so, is very... It's so like happy, normal suburbia. That's why I think it's effective in that way, because nothing's creepier than happy things. <laughs> yeah, they're just cannonballing out the sides. This is the kind of game that has the subject material that you can walk in on. <laughs> I can't believe it's still happening, though! I don't know why, either. Like, it's it's totally, like, thematically tone deaf. <laughs> and, yeah. Hey, look, Pete's Bolorama. My or too many My feet. brother used to chew the feet off my sister's Barbies. Ah. It drove her crazy. She'd get a Barbie, and she'd be like, yay, play with my Barbie, right? Yes. And then, like, less than a week would go by, and the feet are chewed off. Like, yeah, yeah, your brother did no, that. No, I sure. wasn't, I didn't exist. Oh, uh, yeah, you point. didn't exist. I was a zygote. Sure. At, uh, at best. At, and you were good at chewing doll feet. So I'll wait here. Hate That's Bolo. not why I'm going I in here. Come here to play, you know. Hurry back, okay? Like that, honestly, like that sentence reads like, whatever man, go do your bowling, and when you need to fuck, I'll be out here. Uh, not wrong, but like, it turned people off when they when the game first came out. Mm -hmm. Is that Silent Hill 1, you, you remember, like, its art style was, um, fucking chain and blood and gore. Yeah, oh, here we go. Mm. So what'd you do? Um, I have a few questions. Well, one second. What's your name, Mary? Oh, wow. Cutscene continues. That's cool. Yeah. I believe that's that's the end of it. Okay. Uh, so what, uh, so just let me finish what I was saying. Sure, sure. Uh, it was all gore and metal and fucking, like, album cover shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and Silent Hill 2 kind of throws that away mm -hmm. and goes for decay. It goes for, instead of, like, shock, it goes for disgust. It's dilapidated. And everything's just, like, a million years old and completely falling apart. Yeah, yeah. So what is your question, man? Where did one, where would one get a pizza? And especially where would one get two pizzas? In the bowling alley. In the bowling alley. Bowling alley has been it's abandoned gotta be, for years. Just gotta, yeah, well, it has it? You know, fair enough, fair enough. Also, why would you eat pizza after vomiting your guts out? Not You're hungry. Ten minutes? Well, yeah. Eddie? That's what she said. This town is full of monsters. How can you sit there and eat pizza? She said she was fine by herself. She said a fatso like me would just slow her down. Forget you. So yeah, Eddie's an asshole. He's like, oh, why'd she have to treat me like that? I'm not crying, I'm just allergic to jerks. Yeah. That's why I'm crying. So Eddie's like kind of a lazy, schlubby piece of shit. Yeah, clearly. Uh, and he did something bad and yeah. ran away, but it wasn't something really bad. It wasn't robbery or, or murder, murder so, apparently. Okay. Oh, yeah. um, I have to trust you. Big theme going on is running, running here away from, away from, from your problems. problems. Yeah. yeah. Well, as Plague has told us, the best way to, to confront your problems is just to run away and not face Just them. run away. Just, just run right away. There's really no advantage. 
to facing them? No, no that, that's no, hard. It's stupid. It's terrible. Look who's gone. Foggy Nelson. Hey, she said she's gonna wait here for you. Yeah, she was probably DTF. Oh, <laughs> oh, never mind. Did a little girl run out of here? Yeah, she was too fast for me. Aren't you gonna go after her? Uh, how does, uh, like, eight-year-old girl outrun a full-grown adult? Okay, because I don't care, like, if you're a man or a woman or, or whatever age, your legs are always going to be longer to Usually, can get to well, the Well, not child. mine. Well, yes, but you're special that way. Yeah, I'm special. I'm okay, but in video game universe... It's absurd. Yeah. It's like, she, she, she had to have passed right by Maria at the door. Although, it is foggy, so, you know. It's yeah, you don't have to get, the, the, she doesn't have to get very far away. Mm -hmm. But that, that explanation is going to fall apart in about two seconds. Okay. Because she, ca she came through here. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, yeah, you can't fit through that. Is there any other way? Yeah, there is. <laughs> right through there. Uh, she's almost Ada Wong-ish levels in, in, of, of, of sultry. Of, right. uh, of pronunciation of regular everyday words. I'm gonna put sex talk in all normal sentences. Oh yeah. Rub my bunions. It's no good. It's locked. What the fuck was that? Thanks, Maria. She has she has the three special keys required to get in through the back door of this establishment. But why was she pretending to do like a magic show? Or she's like, oh, where is it? She it's just not, oh. she just ha no, she has three different keys. But, but she turned away from James, like he like he's well, not because she's fishing it out of her bra. Oh yeah, she'd hate for James to see that. She would, no, it's same on. So this is a, this is a strip joint. Yeah, the glitter factory. This is actually Heaven's Night. That's that's too cool of a name for a strip. Heaven's building. Night, right there. Like it man. should be like a fucking Devil May Cry building. Yeah, well, it kind of looks like Devil May Cry. It does. That's because Devil May Cry is made to look like uh, like a strip joint. Yeah, the entire game. Uh, so yeah, Maria's a stripper. That's that's and also that would explain why she's adding all that that sex hinge yeah. all her sentences because she's like, yeah, man. Sex stuff. You know, I know a stripper, right? And she's really nice to me at the strip club, but she also works at Applebee's, and she's really mean to me there. You know, that's the, the nature of the job. It's <laughs> the nature of the job, man. She's really mean to me there. Get that kid. Shoot her. Quickly, she's going into the, uh, the uh, hospital modeled after the hospital in Kindergarten Cop. Brookhaven Hospital, as you can see, has lots, lots of, of rooms. rooms. Lots. And also a fabulous day room. So there's gonna be a lot of running into walls in here. Nice. And saying the things are locked. Yeah. Okay. Cause shit in here is locked. What? How'd she She does that. Twice. Hey, what's up? You're scary. That is Do you think it's like that on purpose? Yeah. To be kind of creepy? Yeah, a little bit. So you accidentally shoot her. Yeah, so basement's totally sealed off. We're just gonna have to jump up to the second. And yeah, it's dark as fuck, man. It's dark as shit. I, uh, you know what? Look, you at forgot. This, look, you at forgot this, how I dark these games were. I can't remember any game that's like this aggressively dark, but your 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 flashlight is really good. Yeah, in the sense your that, flashlight's quite good, uh, and, it, and it lets them make the game look really, really, really pretty. Uh, here we go. Whoa! Hey guys. Why are the nurses so sexy still? Uh. Why? Why? Why are they still so sad? So I'll get a I'll get a better look at these nurses the next time I encounter one. Yeah, we'll but be they time. they look uh, they have bobble heads. They their their heads just like look like pure smooth no face. Cool. Um, and what that That's and and there's a lot of sex with all the characters, yes, right? We've established um, that. So he's going to visit his terminally ill wife uh -huh. right. and sees he's nothing but these own. faceless uncaring medical people. Ah, oh, that's good. That's good. That are hot. <laughs> right? There he's he's his wife's Ill. he can't have sex with his wife anymore. He, he might be cheating on her, he doesn't know. But and he's like, oh gross. I'm I'm I wanna have sex, but my wife is dying. I'm such a piece of shit. And nurses are hot. So he's kind of mixing up yeah. both things together. Uh, the yeah. nurses' faces originally were gonna look I like condoms. Myself. Are you oh, looking? they kind of already sort of do. Yeah. And um, the 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 face, their their heads were supposed to explode like a condom bursting, <laughs> uh, in the original design. Mm, that's embarrassing. When uh, and then 
then they they tried to put it in, like the PS2 couldn't handle it. So yeah, here you go. And and they shake like that. Yeah. They're terrible. I know it. I know the number of the box eight three five one. I can't help him anymore. The button key doesn't scare me, so <laughs> nobody can stop who I am. I don't know who I am. Is who I am is who, who I, I am, am is. Is this written by Eminem? Yes. In the moment, you gotta Scattered, own it. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, you, you actually, you actually, you actually off. get points deducted off one of the endings possibilities if you run into her constantly. That is awesomely stupid. Because you're being a dick to Maria. No, but because the lighting. That's not fair. Yeah, it's it's totally fair. <laughs> If it was all brightly lit, then fine. It's your fucking fault for like headbutting her. Oh my! Look how dark this is. Plus, that great looks like it's gonna. And the oh, sound no, design and the way that the enemies light up more than the environment, they get they kind of get uh, posterized. Yeah. Uh, where like, look, you can see you can see like her coming in like Ooh, way yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. It's awesome. Jesus. Yeah. 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 Go James taking to, out these nurses with extreme. Go bridges. back to Macy's. Oh wait, no, I thought it was a uh, it was a uh, a mannequin. Uh, when I really think about it, uh, Triangle Girl cross nurse. It's pretty hot. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. You, did you see that Tumblr like comic of like uh, Pyramid Head taking a selfie of himself and getting really depressed because when he looks at the picture, all he can see is a giant sheet of metal. Yeah. And then someone's like, "Oh, don't worry, you're beautiful to me." Don't worry, Pyramid Head. Oh. You you freakazoid. Uh, the noise filter in this game. Oh man, it's so like I can I can show people like once we get a brightly lit room, I can show people what the game looks like with the noise filter off. I think it looks way it, way it, worse. It's uh, with the noise filter off. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I was gonna say though, since we were playing Rule of Rose, I thought that noise filter on the default setting was way too much. Yeah, we could have turned it down a bit. I mean, it, it made the game have an atmospheric sort of like accoutrement to it. But well, for a game like that, time, in which you're not actually like you're dealing with the supernatural, but it's not actually supernatural horror. No, a lot of it was just collecting items and talking to shit. Yeah, like, so. I felt like the 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 noise filter was. I kind of feel like they were just like they, we have to have. This they didn't there. earn it. Yeah, like plus, Silent Hill earns it. Also saying the 1930s is just like, yeah, yeah, we can have a noise filter then. Yeah. The whole world in the 1930s basically had a noise filter yeah, on it. Yeah, pretty much. Brookhaven Hospital is a hospital, but it also has a uh, special treatment room and also has a large psychiatric ward as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it does. And, well, not ward, but it has a psychiatric component. Yeah. Which is why when you read those things about the patients, they're often God, talking about I mental remember, illnesses. I remember you telling me some fucked up long story about... In, it's in Downpour, where I describe yeah. how many hospitals Silent Hill has. And I was just like, no, you're making some in up. In which Brookhaven is primarily a psychiatric hospital, but then was later misnamed as a general hospital, even though the Alcamilla Hospital is the general hospital. And then there's the sanitarium. I'm gonna go look for her. For Laura, I'll be back as soon as I can. So, let's... Nothing's more comfy than this stained, disgusting bed. Yeah, so this Caught. this is uh, S3. Right, so I gotta remember that for later. Wow, this is more brightly lit. Yeah, than... so here's a good place that we can use to test the noise filter, sure. actually. So this that's what it looks like normally, and that's the wrong uh, button. I, nice, I actually nice, have to hit nice. select. No, no, oh, no, whoa. I forget. It's in options. I right? should like to think. Uh, that you couldn't use to turn the noise filter off. That was added in the greatest history. Yeah, so let's right turn the noise effect off and see. Now this, obviously, due to the video compression that you guys are watching it's this through, be a it's less... going to be a little less pronounced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, change the settings, please. And we're going to come out. And it looks super good, but way too clean. Way too clean. Okay, mm, can you go into the, the dark hallway just to... Look sure, I'll, I'll save the game. Yeah. first and then we will go out because I don't know I think it actually just looks better overall but let's see it in a dark area I disagree it's oh. really subtle though yeah and also this is a, and if that is the case then I would say that that's because it was built like look it's too clean it's too normal yeah okay so like look, look at the the spot on the on the left there on the wall and then we go into options and we're gonna change it Which again. Is a bit quicker but uh. yeah well, hey, man, it's a fucking PS3, system, yeah, system yeah, level yeah, feature right. of like turning a, gra a game. Like, think of think of that a game in which you can actually a console game you can actually change the graphics features. 
It's really oh. rare. I, I think like uh, Mass Sa- Effect One does it with its noise filter also. Uh, Saints Row lets you put uh, Saints Row Three and Four and Two, Two like, especially. Like, yeah, okay. It looks yeah, yeah, it yeah. looks way better. It, it looks creepier. It, it looks creepier. It's more unsettling. I recently popped in Saints Row Two and it lets you put V Sync on and off on the console version. Uh, Bioshock One does does that also, yeah, very but it rare. does not call it V Sync. What does it call? Oh, fuck. Uh, um, not V Sync. It, it, not V Sync. I think it's called Frame Rate Lock. <laughs> Because they're like... That's for dumb console idiots like me to understand what it means. Yeah. Or, or it's a, Do you want to unlock the frame rate? I think it is. Yeah, wow, okay. So, here we are. We have a fucking box. Like this if you cry every time. So, uh... Oh, eight, three, three, five, one. That's one. All right, and then there's another one. There's another one, but I don't have the code for it yet. I thought it was three, five, five, seven. But I have a lapis lazuli key. <laughs> And I got the red bull key, or the purple bull key, rather. Purple bull. All right, and that's the middle lock. I don't know. But still need the code. Boy. So there's almost nothing on this roof. Wow, you're not fucking kidding. Uh, but there is this diary. I thought this said, is this a diaper. Uh, much like a lot of effect, uh, a lot of things affect the ending. Reading this diary affects the ending. Really? So let's read it. Shall we? May 9th, rain. Stared off the window all day. Peaceful here. Nothing to do. Still not allowed to go outside. Sounds like the Ouya wrote this. May 10th, still raining. Talked with the doctor a little. Would they have saved me if I didn't have a family to feed? I know I'm pathetic, weak. Not everyone can be strong. Oh. May 11th, rain again. The meds made me feel sick today. If I'm only better when I'm drugged, then who am I anyway? Wow. May 12th, rain as usual. I don't want to cause any more trouble for anyone, but I'm a bother either way. Can it be really such a sin to run instead of fight? Some people may say so, but they don't have to live in my shoes. It may be selfish, but it's what I want. It's too hard like this. It's just too hard. It's clear outside. The doctors told me I've been released, that I've got to go home. I... You can't stay here, but... The diary ends here. You don't, you don't have, have to go, go home, home, but you can't, you can't stay, stay here. here. <laughs> so that is that is a diary of somebody who was clearly committed after a suicide attempt yeah. and suffers from classic depression, feelings of worthlessness, really bad classic. feelings. I'm a, like I'm a bother either way. Is like it's the it, most it cuts. It's like oh, whoa, that hurts. Like would they have saved me if I didn't have a family? Yeah, stuff like that. Like just always messing with your own work. Also, it's, the fact that it's on a roof is kind of. Yeah. symbolic I think it is a little symbol. there's yeah. a lot of, a lot of oh, and also yeah. it's it's hammering again like is it really so bad to just run away yeah is that really the worst thing in the world mm. metal nets Whoa. rusty as shit it's falling apart it's push it oh shit oh shit indeed oh Christ and he fucks you up with a great knife knocks you off that roof jeez wasn't expecting that so you're talking about jumping off roofs? Here. A pyramid head jumps you off that roof. For you. What? Yeah. I fell into the hospital through the third floor roof. No. Yeah. Everything also, if uh, you would touch my controller. It's fucking rumbling. Oh, God. That's the most subtle rumble ever. Yep. Yeah. Because... I am you fucked up fucked in, yeah. because Pyramid Head just kicked my ass off a roof. Blood all over the padded walls. Which is hard. Is really threatening. 1473. 1473. So now we have what is required. Uh, for the last uh, box thing. To open up that last box. Get boxy out. So Shattered Memories overdid it. Shattered Memories had combat and it had non-combat. And that was the ex extension of walking in a room and not hearing the radio go off. Wait, Shattered Memories? Shattered Memories would have combat sections. No, it didn't. Or, or run, run yeah, danger action sections. Action sections. Yeah. Uh, and sections in which yeah, you would it was, explore. Yeah, it was too much. And this, this, that's why the radio does that. Because it tells you, I'm not going to fight here. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. But it does keep, but when it tells you when you need to fight. And they can do that on a room to room basis. Instead of having these giant sequences. Yeah, it's, it's like, if that was sort of taken a second look at in Shatter Memories, it would be, like, much more up the ladder yeah. in terms of... Because, like, not, never going to complain about its story or anything like that, but... 
and and because compared to all the other Western Silent Hills, it's like easily the best story. Easily the best story. But yeah, the gameplay, uh, the, the but that the huge but that story, that story suffers from trying so hard to get hit the psychological aspect that Silent Hill Two did. Yeah, Silent Hill Two is a anomaly in Silent Hill. I, I in that I agree. part one. Three and four are all about the cult mm-hmm. and and satanic influence. And this one has nothing to do. And with this it. one has nothing to do with it. But everyone in the West, because Silent mm-hmm. Hill Two is the best. Well, you're one, saying Tom Hewlett was like said that in an interview. I don't blame him though, because Silent Hill Two is the best one, mm-hmm. and people went crazy for it. So I got a piece of hair. Nice. Wow. Just shut up, Bio Slime. A little bit. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Yes, if you didn't know that we were from Canada. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Evil Within playthrough, and this uh, should... Oh, that's the that's not part of the same room. Damn it. Excuse me. Oh, no, don't need it. Excuse me. Maybe it was this. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Ran a butt! Oh, it's explosive. Excuse me. Uh, I was going to say that it's really infuriating if you bump into someone on the street and you say, excuse me, and they say nothing. It's it's not no you're supposed to you're supposed to say sorry. Remember that one time Willie just knocked a bunch of kids over and didn't say anything? Yeah. It's fucking He said, "Yo, I'm the biggest." It's deplorable. Yeah, that's what he said. I bullied people. It was me. <laughs> I was the head bully. I told everyone. Let's head on down to the first floor. Okay. Laura? I was friends with Mary. We met at the hospital. There are all sorts of strange things around here. Wait, wait! There's something I gotta get! Later, okay? But it's really important! Yeah, in the back. Laura! What are you doing? Why, you... you... Laura? So this is the second boss in the game. It's an enemy called Flesh Lips. So there's a lot going on in that cutscene. One, first of all, James is the dumbest motherfucker I've ever seen. Yeah, dumbest motherfucker ever. Uh, so one, Mary, uh, sorry, Mary and Laura knew each other, despite the fact that she should have been dead. Dead? Yeah. Uh, James freaks out when she implies that she knew Mary. Also, after he promised not to yell at her. So he basically deserved this. Yeah, basically. Also, Laura is shocked. Why would you be in danger? What What is dangerous about this? Like, it implies that she's not seeing any of this. Yeah, and, and she just locked him into a room. Yeah. And that was it. And that goes on to a theme that Silent Hill 2 has in which Laura's a kid. So, she's not bringing any of her baggage in I, with her. Probably because she has very little, like, oh, I, you know, stole a pie off a windowsill one yeah. time. She has no horrible life traumas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, she's not bringing that in with her. Where it's like, sense. like, it's implied that, like... Which is also why she doesn't have a scratch on her, and she said, why should I Because there's have no, a scratch? Because for Laura, there are no monsters. She's just fun, hanging out in this gross, super dark hospital. Like, for Angela and Eddie and James, like, they're all seeing monsters, but it's not clear as to whether or not they're the same monsters. Yeah, or they're at the very least tailored to each other. Because all the monsters that James sees, with the possible exception of Pyramid Head, eh. seem to be very custom tailored to the, his 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 guilt and his sadness over his wife's death from mm-hmm. from illness. That's also why when he uh, inferred that the, hey, there's a pyramid man running around, and then he just went, "Well, you're fucking high, man." Yeah. So if I hit the map right now, what we're gonna see is that everything is uncrossed out. Interesting. I think. And now the hospital has taken a. Concerted turn for the worst. Yeah, and it was wasn't looking too great to begin with, but yeah, it's now now it is it now it's a fucking mess. <laughs> like I don't know what like that's that's a creepy creepy fan? fucking fan. Yeah, but it looks like like Satan's butthole too. So a little bit. That's what it looks like. It's a big fan, so it can muck spread. Be- oh, <laughs> Whoa, that's a new one. That's a fucking new one. It's actually kind of old. Muck but... spread. Yeah. Jeez. All right. Jeez. So the trick here... Trick here? Be careful. So you may notice that the nurses are filthier and bloodier. Yes, I did. I noticed that they're even filthier than before. They're, they're tier two on filth. Yeah. Man, she's dusty. Jeez. 
Uh, I was reading again. Someone was was talking about Evil Within on uh, probably NeoGaf. They were saying uh, this game completely lacks subtlety everywhere. Yeah. Where like every three seconds, some new gore is thrown in your face. Or, it's it's or very brute force. It's very in your face style thing, and they're like. I don't even think the Japanese can do that unless they were told to do that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. they, like that's not how Japanese horror works. Like, so, like... Japanese horror tends to be what real horror should be. It's what is hidden, what is what, what you don't see. And or, unless, or, or implication. It's either that or the extreme opposite, like Tokyo Gore Police... Or one of those, like, a vampire girl versus Frankenstein girl, which is all about... That's more of comedy. A comedy horror. Yeah, but, like, th- like, that's not the way the Japanese view horror like that. And then I was like, yeah, that's completely right. That's more actually what American people think of when they think of horror. So, like, Bethesda just elbows their way in and says, no, do it like this. Like, the, the, the palette and tone of something like Siren and Evil Within yeah, are, Siren like, kind of, kind of similar... But Not like, really. look at the, no, no. But the, the palette, the palette, yes, yes, yes the palette, and right. and like the 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 core idea of that horror of like uh, spooky, scary people don't know what's going on, stuff like that. Oh, I like that. That's pretty good. But like the 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 execution of that is wildly different. Wildly. Okay. So like, James doesn't have nothing to say. That looks like there's a bunch of hands in that crack in the wall. No, he has or? nothing to say. <laughs> And my favorite, I think I've talked about it before, is that the best thing is just the, the text of nothing to care about. Nothing to care about. Uh, it's because with this and with the 3D environment and with like... That, that'd be insane. With, with, with being able to do something like this, like you don't have to get the text on that as much because often you can just look at it. Yeah, and it's lit by something and it's it's a little more viewable the closer you so get. So this is the day room. So I can't open it by myself. Oh. Eventually, I imagine I will have to find someone here. To help me. I wish I had friends. Which, by the way, don't forget, we fucking left Maria in S3. Yes. She's and just dozing it off. She's just dozing it off. Ah, oh, there she is dozing. Okay, now you may scoff and punch me over this. I'm gonna scoff. I may punch you. Uh, but there's a game that has a very similar sort of setup to this. Maybe Silent Hill in general. It's like The Suffering. Yeah, right? absolutely. Uh, but... The Suffering, I actually, like appreciate the suffering in the sense that like it tried it tried right? it tried really hard now it tried maybe too hard in a certain direction where your guy could turn into a monster yeah. or like the enemy like this enemy died through lethal injection so subtlety. of course his eyeballs subtlety was the problem the subtlety was the problem but yeah the, the suffering more than any other like American horror franchise I can think of is like at least like said hey this dude has problems, and let's explore that. Yeah. Oh, that's... Wow, it's... There's a painting of a woman. It's actually... Oddly enough, the hand part... I was gonna say... It's actually 3D and sticks out. I was like, what? So, I need to bring her her rings. Mm. Oh, okay. Hmm. Weird for a hospital puzzle, but sure. Well, we've, we've descended into the supernatural. Oh, yeah, you know, fair enough. This hey, is... What the fuck, The room babe? that we left Maria in. Damn! And if you listen real close... Breathing? You hear a very smothered breathing huh. and a faint heartbeat, huh. and it sounds like a sick person. And there are a bunch of empty medicine bottles here. And is Maria now sick too? Yeah, that is a off-putting sound. I don't like it. <laughs> not a friend. Not a fan. Not. I don't like it one bit. But not subscribe to that sound effects newsletter. No, thank you, newsletter. <laughs> Unsubscribe. Uh, I got to check the shower room. Yeah. You have to be down here. Yeah, all the way down. Did you kill my other nurse friend, Marsha? Why would you do that? We're just uh, sexy nurses. She was, she was gonna help me do some makeup tutorials on YouTube. That shit is sorcery, man. Yeah, no, but it like, is. Girls are basically magic sorcerers. Basically. They go from pretty hot to like, Damn, girl, you hot as fuck! Damn, girl, you look like a statue with lipstick! You hotter than a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but it hits the ear know. just right. Yeah, yeah. It's the ear. It lands on in a good way. Everybody likes it, how it hits the ear. There's two things that are the biggest things on YouTube. Let's Playing and Makeup Tutorials. Makeup Tutorials. And Makeup Tutorials are actually useful. All right, yeah. <laughs> you had a point. All right, guys. Where are you at? I need to take you out. Oh, there you are. 
Oh, hello. That's the first nurse hit. Yeah, not not too bad. So you mentioned the you you mentioned the cults before, and now I'm thinking of it since uh, I had to suffer through homecoming and, and whatever. And downpour. it's like holy shit, yeah, this has no fucking cult shit going on. Nothing, none of it. And it was so pervasive, and the other ones like even the save icons. It's like were you know, like okay, if you're gonna shit. do the cult stuff, do the cult stuff. If you're gonna do the psych stuff, do don't the do psych both. stuff. Don't. Half ass both because they don't mix. They, they, that's it's a it's an actual they, physical they, society. They do a tiny bit. That sounded like cockroaches. They do a tiny bit. Or screeching babies. Something. They do a tiny. <laughs> they do a tiny bit in Silent Hill Three, but not that much. Yeah. Jeez. Sounds like a screeching child or a pig or something. Yeah. All right. Is it that room in Wooly's apartment? That's right. This is the only way forward is through here. Alrighty. So let's do it. Sure, we'll go fine. And it's totally fine. James. <laughs> ah. Mary? Oh, Maria. Anyway, I'm glad you're alive. Anyway? What do you mean, anyway? All you care about is that dead wife of yours. I've never been so scared in my whole life. No, I just... Then stay with me. Don't ever leave me alone. What about Laura? Did you find her? Yeah, but she ran away. We've got to find her. Well, you... fuck. So, that's that... probably the best example of James is the weirdo. Because her, 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 his dialogue in that, like, she's kind of not making sense. Not really. Like, she, why didn't you save her? From what? What are you talking about? Also, you're the one that want. Why did you leave the room? Yeah, that you were in, right? But like, she's perfectly well acted, and her, it comes across as very legitimate. Like, anyway, like, what the fuck, man? That's horrible. Yeah. And James is just, uh, I can't. I don't know. I have all these, uh. Well, how do I speak for good? <laughs> we talked about it before, and I think it's pretty clear by now. It's not being too subtle within that particular clear cutscene, but she's clearly representing more than just some rando stranger. Uh, clearly, because you were supposed to protect. <laughs> why I didn't, didn't you, sign that contract? Why didn't you? Why didn't you take care of me? Yeah, it's, it, yeah. like why didn't you? Why weren't you there for me when I die? <laughs> you know, stuff. You might as stuff. well just have said that. Yeah. And also, why don't you care about me? Why the fuck did you run off? Oh, but is Laura okay? I feel I need to protect. Like, what the fuck, lady? Stop flip flopping. No, no, it's flip flop time. Like, like she seems to have gone off on her own assignment, Ada, while you were gone. Yeah, and then blames you. <laughs> blames for you. not being there. You guys know what I'm talking about, eh, fellas? And she's sick, but now she's not sick. No, nope. yeah. Pyramid Head's attacking you in this fucking place all over. Yeah, he's not even mentioning it. He's some badass dude in a triangle helmet just kicked my ass. You know, not giving really, me any sympathy. Really, really kicked his ass. Where head. were you there? Where were you there? Where were you? <laughs> I really would. Like, that FMV, like, usually, especially on the PS2, FMVs take, like, a second or two to yeah. sort of trigger. But that just was so sudden that it caught uh, me off guard. Uh, well, actually, uh, you're actually completely wrong in that <laughs> FMVs were often used for cutscenes instead of in-gameplay stuff because FMVs on DVDs and CDs could trigger instantly. But then right? why am I thinking that sometimes there's always an awkward pause or transition? In that, that's from the in-game gameplay. Oh, so they just did it better. Yeah. You ready to play, Matt? I, I, I am completely prepared. What's the name, Matt? Uh, it was uh, Lakeside Amusement Park. No. Yeah. You got it right, Matt. So, that's number three. Wait, you don't actually have to input anything. Nope. I didn't see. I didn't see what the question was. So, from one, from Paleville to, uh, to the hotel, what road do you take? Bachman, Rendell, or Nathan Avenue? Ah, oh, damn, I, uh, Nathan. It is Nathan. Okay, because I recognize Nathan was on the, on the fucking map. And because you're in the hospital, you can't check the world map. Yeah, okay, okay, of course. Yeah, I really like it. 
Okay, but I, if you don't get to input anything or have some sort of player control, I mean, does how, it affect well, How anything? does it affect? Yeah, that's a good I guess, question. I guess it doesn't. That's a good question. Hmm. That was that was, that was was fun, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah, that's that's when you were talking earlier, like, oh, goofy elevator music. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. And I'm like, how about you shut not up? Not quite, not quite. All right. Let's open it. Now with Maria's power, which should be about 80% her, of mine, her giant I'll go muscles. from not being able to budge yeah. it. Maria, give me a hand here. How's a little girl like me supposed to help? Maria's also mean. Just fucking help. Wow. Emasculate him. Very cute, is it? Last round. Here, James. Mm -hmm. You take it. Mm, thanks. It's a ring of lead. <laughs> Every so lady wants a ring of lead. It'll poison you. Slowly, it'll seep through your skin. It's, it's got works. a skull. Yeah, it's awesome. A disgusting, bloated face. Oh, that's... No. So, you wanted to know where you put in your inputs? Oh, okay. So, you have to remember your answers, remember their numbers, and then remember them for a while in order to trigger this. So, do we put the number I said, or do we... Do it's Q1, one? Q2, Q3, and the answer is 313. Oh, so we just... Okay. And what does it get you? Shotgun, 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 and pool, and pool. Sorry, what? Uh, an on pool. Uh, let me. No idea. I, I picked one up earlier, but I did not explain it. It is here. Um, restores energy by relieving pain. The effects are powerful. It's the ultimate healing item. Oh. It also yeah. makes you temporarily invincible. I, I, th this game makes me jittery, like you wouldn't believe. Better. Say. Like you're here, so I feel a little bit calmer. Mm. I have a calming effect. If I had to do this by myself, I oh, I'd I'd have too many jitters. I'd be I'd be a mess. But at the same time, we've all talked about how when you have to talk with another person and you're the one playing, it's fucking hard sometimes. Oh, absolutely. But this game, I know pretty well. Pretty well. But the 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 feeling of the atmosphere, like by myself, this atmosphere is. Oppressive. Well, like I already alluded to, we were playing Silent Hill 3 and you were next to me and you were telling me what to do, but still I was getting freaked out at almost every monster. Yeah. Uh, you can do it, Matt. I believe in you. Very, very frightening. You've come a long way since Downpour. I don't... Mm. I took the director's key, the one to the museum. I hid it behind the praying woman when I went out for the day trip. I picked it up, but I did not steal it. I'm not a criminal. Geez, did I write that? So that's important. That's what we came in here to get. Wow, okay. Because that will help us uh, go forth to the next part of the game. Can I leave? No. No, fuck you. All right. And now that they really force you to, like, look look at the area. And look like, at this. Whoa. Time to run. What's happening? Something. Something real bad. And then they're going to give you this angle so that you see that oh, Pyramid geez. Head is chasing you. And Maria just slowly walking all panache. Because you can't, because you know you can't fight him. By now, yeah. Just run. So, Oof. it's almost like in the earlier conversation that she was blaming you for that. That, that, yeah. Uh, so he lost Maria, similarly to how he lost his wife. Just, oh. Yeah, she got killed by Pyramid Head. Well, not quite. <laughs> you, you know what I mean. So she can actually die in that before the cutscene, and that causes you to fail that scene. How, how do you mean fail that scene? You get a game over. Shut up. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Uh, also, the fact that James said, open up to the elevator was pretty hilarious. Yeah, it was pretty bad. <laughs> like, So where are we going? Is there into the We're going to Gonzalez's Mexican restaurant. Godzilla's Mexican restaurant. Where well, there's a letter. And, and a wrench. wrench. <laughs> Stupid Laura. Yeah, she's a real shit kid. 
It's all it's all her fault. When he when he called her a snotty brat, I was like, yeah, stand up to these vile kids. This, these vile kids are terrible. <laughs> I gotta get all the way back to the east side of town. Ooh. And now you may notice that it is nighttime. Nice, actually. That's what ended up happening during that transition. It turned to night, and this is what it's like so at he, night. What, he just uh, sat there in that room for like two hours? No, it turned to night. Okay. It became night. Nighttime. Uh, there is one thing that is of note. After Pyramid Head kicks you off the roof, he never uses the great knife ever again. Interesting. He switches to a spear. What? That's a dumb weapon. We have nunchucks. Well, it's more like a skewer, actually. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah. Oh, God. Fuck me. It's dark. This is horrible. Yeah. Why does so, it gotta be like that? So, ah! And the nurses are now on the street. Yeah, nurses work in the street. Oh, man. Yes! Uh, I was gonna say, like... I mean, it's cool that it's this dark, but in reality, I mean, even if it's overcast, well, there's the there's there's no moonlight, and there's no but, but there's some and there's no streetlights that are functioning. Yeah, sure, but it's what? So these guys are called mandarins. I can't even see what they are. Yeah, uh, they're called mandarins because they're wearing the the high-legged uh, Chinese dress. Weird. Why? Uh, and they're scantily clad. But they're always underneath, and they can never get to you. So what is that now? James just went to a sultry Chinese like buffet one time, and all the waitresses were dressed like that. Uh, <laughs> that's yeah, the only time barely... you see them in the entire Holy game. Holy shit! Are you serious? Yeah, they they made an enemy type that you only see once. Huh. Yeah. So we're back at Happy Burger. Yay! And I'm also gonna head back over to Neely's bar, oh where there was God. a hole here, but it's gone Not now. now. Yeah. I want to check Whoa. that. I want to check that out again. Look, there's still power. That's yeah. weird. Looks pretty much the same. There's a hole here, but it's, but it's gone now. It. But there's oh, this. more writing. Okay. Well, you might be heading to a different place than Mary James. Wow, that's fucking a huge burn. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think one of the, the a line that's similar to that, and it's really fucking damning, is when Skull Knight takes uh, talks to Guts and Berserk and says, "Yeah, you might try to save her, but it, it, that might not be what she wants." Uh oh. I mean, does she does she want to come back and realize what the world is? Yeah, like, do you think this is a really good idea? Guts? And as and it's similar to the theme here of yeah. like. Is, is being aware of everything horrible in the world the right way? Is the truth always the best outcome? Is it, is it is it okay to be ignorant of certain things? I personally say yes, the truth is always the best outcome. I would rather know something terrible. Like, I would rather... Like, give it to me straight, Doc. You know? Okay, but I, I, I don't think you can make that statement to absolutely everything. No, you world. cannot. Uh, yeah, but so yeah, I'll, I'll agree with you there. But yeah, give it to me straight, Doc, is a great example. You, of have, that. you used to have to tell that to doctors because they would not tell you if yeah, you were going to yeah, die. Yeah, yeah. So I got the wrench. So you remember this door that would only open into darkness next to the apartments? Uh, the, the, yeah. Now that door will open. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Yeah. Oh. They, they dump so many health items in the street at this part of the game because... But they're really well hidden. Because if you don't know where to go, you can end up wandering the streets of Silent Hill in this section for a long I time. I guess that's kind of also the point. Yeah. Yeah. You're not supposed it's to... One, and also one right next to an enemy, too. Yeah. Uh-oh. Excuse me. Fuck you. Take that. Handgun bullets. I... Yeah, Silent Hill, your supernatural shit does nothing with my 12 gauge. Nothing. <laughs> Imagine some dude is like, I'm tired of this, and just nukes the town. The gun always helps. Yeah, the gun always helps. Unless it's Pyramid Head. So now we're back to the Rosewater Park. Remember they tried to do the Nemesis thing again in RE6 and failed? Very failed. <laughs> Very failed, I like that. Because it didn't work the same. No. A cutscene would announce it, and then you'd go into the, a scripted sequence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nemesis works because he had eight or nine times that he would just appear in-game and, 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 and just never, attack you with no warning. have some sort of... Yeah, exactly. No, no fanfare. No fanfare. They would just dump him in there and be like, damn, here you go. They can, the, they can still tag you. Respect the pipe. Yeah. They've been going to Hagar's pipe lessons. Hagar's pipe school. Hagar, you got a lot of hot nurses, but their face is a little off. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> so, oh, whoa. 
Victim of persecution by the ends. Jennifer Carroll, live with pride and honor. What happened here shall never be forgotten. Uh, it could have been Genitar. If you if you go into the game's code, you find that says victim of persecution by the Christians. Wow, no wonder that was Well, no wonder that was blacked out. God. Yeah. They 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 took that out because they were like, oh, people will be like, uh. But, like, Silent Hill is a town that was based on, like, very pure technical values mm -hmm. on top of an Indian burial ground. Yeah. Where s horrible Civil War shit happened. Just basically the biggest and, and melting then, pot. And, and just, the, the, the you had a, a highly Christian religious sect that then started to get into Beelzebub yeah. and, ba <laughs> and Baphomet and shit like that. Like, it's it's very classic. Dig, I love that they got into, it's not a fucking album. Yeah, we're really getting into him. We're really getting into this Baphomet stuff, getting the Dark Lord coming back. Oh, God. Track number five. Love it. Oh, I gotta heal up. Man, I'm getting hurt all over the place. Eh, barely. All right, so where is the wrench? Where? There you are. Kai, your inventory is huge. Yeah, you get a lot, and it's infinite. Yeah. It was a huge change compared to Resident Evil with a limited inventory. Just like, no, I'm carrying around a million fucking things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now I have the old bronze key. The oldest of the bronze keys. Which will open... The Silent Hill Historical Society. SHS! So, uh, uh, Silent Hill 2 and 3 came out on the PC? Yes. Uh, I'd love it if someone could just mod it so that fucking 50 Cent was in there. I think... Lakeview Hotel? I think his sins would be... Just, no. Like, all he can think about is the time he didn't take the garbage out for his grandma, and that's, like, his biggest... Grandma, I'm rich. I don't have time to do this anymore. Yeah, do it. The fuck am I doing this? Do it, Curtis. Curtis, don't you call yourself 50 in my house? I, I, I'm not sure if you saw, but when we did the uh, 50 Cent Bulletproof game on Crime Time, um, like, the, the PS2 Xbox one, that one, if you die, like, as soon as you get shot, the... Instantly, the camera fades to a gigantic piece of artwork of 50 Cent with angel wings with his back to the camera and going up to heaven. That's what happens when <laughs> you make style. a game about yourself. Yeah. Right? That'd be awesome. If you, if you just want to be like, no, I'm the fucking hoodest, coolest man in the world, yeah. just fucking put angel wings on you. It's the best. We fucking cry laughing because sometimes it comes in even before you die. <laughs> Game over. That, but that's the, he's already resurrected. He's from beyond the grave. That happened before I even hit the ground. <laughs> Fifty cent. But all these, all these nurses are like, no, no. We need your shots. <laughs> what, no, Playing with your dolls don't. again, James. You feel guilty about it. <laughs> you should invite that, invite that friend over, Eddie. He seems nice. No, oh, ma, he's not nice. He all he does is eat all, all my pizzas. pizzas and breaks my G.I. Joe's. Uh-oh. Ah! That's dumb. Why would they Misty that? Day on the Remains of Judgment. It's him. <laughs> that so, guy. So, Pyramid Head is part of Silent Hill's history. <laughs> and, it, and, it, and, and that is the people hanging just like the flesh lips. Uh-huh. And he has his skewer, not the knife. Not the knife, you're right. You're and, right. It, and you can also notice that this is the piece of art that inspired our title card. Yes, okay, yeah, I, I do now. Yeah. I, I didn't get it before. I was like, oh, this is a nice piece of yeah. art, but I don't really get so it. So just in case you were starting to forget, Pyramid Head, this might be his house. <laughs> For all intents and purposes. So my Sega CD came in the mail the other day. That's the spookiest thing of all, man. Right? That's the spookiest but it, it thing came of with all. But it came with ten games. Yeah. Uh, all of which are, I'm sure, worth playing. Uh, Sonic and Knuckles. Sonic, wait, what? They yeah. came out on Sega CD? Yeah, I, no, no, it didn't, but the guy just threw in oh, 10 just games. Threw it well, hey. Sonic CD, Sonic Spinball, Mortal Kombat on the Genesis, then Mortal Kombat on the Sega CD. So I'm fuck. oh, Silent Hill, hey, hey what's, what's up? What's going on? Yeah, so that, nothing good ever happens to Silent Hill. Um, I thought you were going to say nothing good ever happens to Plague. Yeah, nothing good ever happens to Plague. <laughs> uh, so if you remember... I, oh, I slept on this porcupine by accident. Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> So, uh, this... Oh, God! Oh, wow! That yeah, was crazy. So, uh, we're going down. Yeah, so here we go. We got monsters. Oh, uh, we're stuck in the trash heaps. Oh, jeez. Oh, that was hard to even understand what was going on. Lying figure. He, he burped the burp stuff. Burped the burp. Yeah! Take that. Oh, God. This, I, this we, layout is confusing. I, I wonder if we're ever gonna get another moment of the fucking guy just freaking out on the floor. For no, that's hour. never gonna happen again. I don't say that. 
I, I, am, I, the more I think about it, it's like I, I think I talked about it a bit before. But the the static thing is cool when it starts up, but like when it stops, then yeah. you're like, oh, I'm safe. Yes, I like that. I, I, I it's not bad, but it's like I kind of almost. Think about uh, shattered memories and how oh the ice is now I am in danger. I, I brought that up away. like four parts ago. Yeah, no, I know. And, and how I think that this is a much better way of doing it because you're not shoehorning areas into this is a safe area. This is not a safe area. It's it's it might be a dangerous area right now. Yeah, no, I, I know that, but I was still mean for the base sense of, like, oh, I'm I'm okay right now in this area. Whereas, like, if stuff jumped out at you every occasionally when there is no static, yeah. like, because your radio doesn't know that there's a monster there. The radio, the, mon the radio does know. Yeah, it does know. That's the thing. It's, like, almost too om omnipotent. Not a supernatural concept. It's this fictional concept of whatever ghost energy is it interacts poorly with technology yeah, yeah so right. even though this is a broken radio that doesn't actually work the the forces are so strong that like it's causing feedback it's, in your it's, radio it's detecting the, the 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 supernatural rage i mean ghosts hate wi-fi and crap like that they absolutely hate it they hate bluetooth they, they, and they just oh no my wi-fi isn't reliable in my new apartment haunted so this whole <laughs> this hole is dark uh, and yeah. I have no other way to progress. Do a fucking sick trick as you fall. So, like, let's just... Like, this is really on the nose. Let's jump into the infinite black abyss. Right? I mean, at least lower yourself. D he does not even attempt to lower himself. No, he's just going to do an indie nose bone. He's going to do an indie nose bone. A little bit. He's, he's, he's like, psyching himself up. Do a just, flip. To oh, just God. jump straight down. Yeah, he's pretty ballsy. I'll give him that. Yeah. I wouldn't do that. He's pretty ballsy for not leaving the town already. Mm-mm. And so here we are. Uh, well, that was a good move, that was a That was a good Let's Play that we did. <laughs> and, uh, and we're basically done here. Your status oh. is that... Is green garbage. <laughs> yeah. So now we are in some some dank, horrible sewers. Sewer which water. I might have to add, Smelly. these look way more like horrible sewers than the sewers in Homecoming. Which look, look like happy little streets underneath oh, the God. street. And they were all like just grayish and large, and there was just all that bad, shitty, transparent water. The, the, the Homecoming. Remember uh, that water from that screenshot where everyone first went, oh no. So I don't know if you noticed, but I picked up the key. I hit uh, the flashlight the, button. You the oh, you have the flashlight's not working again? Flashlight's done. And this oh. is com almost complete darkness. Yeah, there's a little bit on the top there. So, let's go in our inventory. What we got? And use the dry cell battery. Ah. Uh. Now you change the light's battery. Oh no! Oh. Oh god. Horrible fucking bugs everywhere. Oh, it reminds me and of And it's fucking, locked. It's Escape from Bug Island now. A little bit. Oh, you're even dressed a lot like the guy from Escape. A little from bit. Bug a little bit. Bug Island, the last true great survival horror game. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> they look cleaner. Because these are all filthy, right? Yeah. But these have been smudged away from use. So so, God, why does that sound so off-putting? I don't know. Ah! Yes! Yeah. I like this Using room. Using our brains. Because it's not a puzzle. It's it's just like... I was going to say we're really good at puzzles. No, I'm not. I'm not good at puzzles. I think I think maybe by ourselves we're okay at puzzles, but put together... Yeah, no, by really myself stupid. I'm fine at puzzles because I just pull up my phone and look at game effect. Oh, okay. Well, that, yeah, that would make it fine. That would make it fine. So this gate is in my pro in my way. Get the fuck out of here, gate. Shit's locked. Shit's locked. I'm f luckily for me. You know, there's not that many shit's locked uh, notices in this. Yeah. Notice. Luckily <laughs> for me, I have this spiral key. Spiral writing. Spiral writing key. Uh, that's an unnecessarily epic name for yeah. a fucking key. And again, I'm met with just just jump down this 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 pitch black. Do a flip. I'm okay again. I'm uh, I'm actually totally fine. How does this keep happening? Oh, this is a cutscene. Killing a person ain't no big deal. Just put the gun to their head. Pow. But it wasn't my fault. He, he made me do it. You can't just kill someone because of the way they looked at you. 
Oh yeah? Why not? It's like that stupid dog. He had it coming too. <laughs> I was just joking, James. Anyway, I gotta run. Eddie, clearly the picture of mental health. Uh, I have some questions. Ask me your questions, Matt. Go for the it. The idea that an animal can walk all over you and that an animal had it coming is, is the dumbest thing I've ever So, yeah. That uh, dog had it coming. Clearly bounces around between two different, like, attitudes or maybe not personalities. But well, it's like, It wasn't uh, me, but then, like, oh, it's so easy to kill people. Yeah, so, so we saw way earlier in the game where it was really suspicious that there was that dead guy in the fridge. Yeah. Um, and... and no, no, that also wasn't my fault. That, but now, you meet him and next to a dead body. Uh, and holding a gun. He doesn't even try and deny it for a while, and then fights you on it. Yeah, and then denies it. And then once he realizes that fighting you on it isn't going to work, <laughs> he he changes his story. Yeah, and then so oh, I gotta get going, I'm late for a thing. Yeah, we're seeing a progression of Eddie's uh, personality. Mm. So, does this prison, is this an actual prison? Uh, there was a prison at this general location in Silent Hill back in the Civil War days. <laughs> yeah. Um, which is why you would imagine that this prison has tons of gnarly shit happening in it. A lot of it. Because yeah, a lot of gnarly shit happened during the Civil, Civil War. War. Yeah, some stuff happened. Uh, wasn't wasn't a happy war. I, 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 I don't have, like, any particular fears, but when I think about, like, drowning in a deep lake, I'm like, oh, I would not. I'd freak out if I was alone. Uh, uh, as a, as somebody with a little bit of experience with drowning, by the way, I have a hunting rifle now. Nice. Uh, uh, I can uh, vouch. Bad. Bad experience. Would not recommend. Well, I, I wouldn't imagine that you're like, you know what? Everyone should try it. Like, you know. But, so this, uh, this hunting rifle is going to carry us through the rest of the game because it is amazing. But here's a weird thing. Lakes only. Uh, when I when I went to Cuba Wait, and I was, when sick. I went to Cuba and I was swimming in the ocean and I got out there for a bit I was like yeah fine but when I thought about a lake I'm like oh no because like, an ocean isn't haunted lakes can be fucking haunted uh, the ocean is too large yeah, in scale the, yeah. to be haunted like the ocean just throws the hauntings out like you, you have nothing get out of here yeah but lakes shit yeah lake, lakes is where all the bad stuff happens <laughs> <laughs> like seriously though, like Crystal Lake, like Crystal right Lake off the bat. Inhaled, right off the bat. It's, it's a bad place to live. Uh, appreciate yeah. things for their time. Yes, yes. So if you go back and watch an old Hitchcock movie, they're boring. They're rough, man. But you don't understand. You have to compare it to everything that, that was, was out released at the, at the time. time. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, compare yeah. the way this game looks to every PS2 horror game that ever came out, except for and Silent this, Hill 2, and 3 and 4. And this is early. This is 2001? This was a very early in the life cycle. This thing is astounding, and the the uh, visually, and the way that it uh, uses framing, the way that they smartly use... Like, they, you get to do good textures here... Because you don't need to actually show most of the screen. Yeah, exactly. And that's why parts of the daylight areas don't look as good as the horror areas yeah, at night. Yeah, no. I, I still game. have one or two PS2 survival horror games we haven't played yet, just like stocked for rainy days or, or what have you. And th I think at least both of them are later than this. Mm. They both look terrible. Well, yeah, yeah. Doesn't so there's like the two there's the two cell blocks. There's the uh, shower room which I believe that is, and then there's the art, and that's it. Also, you may have noticed that I picked up uh, some plates for the gluttonous pig yep. and the seductress. Mmm, little, little on the nose there, little, but that's fine. Little on the nose. Let's read uh, those documents. No, let's you, not. You can have some things that are a little on the nose. There's so much subtlety here in general, so. I don't know. I feel like that's that's fine. Yeah, that's because... what I mean. Oh, jeez. There we go. It's fine. Uh, so I was... For... <laughs> yep. When I point my gun, I end up aiming at it. Yeah, it aims at something. This is called the prisoner. This is a unique. A thing this there. is a unique enemy that never appears anywhere else in the game. And, and you it, can hear her footsteps. And is too. completely harmless. But in the hold know, on, listen. You're hitting something, yeah. Wow. 
You fucking killed it. Now that does not sound like a monster. It sounds like a person that or sounds, even a woman. That sounds like a person or even a woman. And, I mean, like and, a woman and when, person. And when it, and, and, <laughs> oh yeah, fair enough. Um, but, yeah, that would be fucked up. Because then I corrected myself because it sounded like a woman's voice for a second. Just, a a little it. distorted. Yeah. But just. Uh, uh, oh. Uh. So yeah, this guy and this room exist purely for this this moment. Because you can't get in there. So, bye. Interesting. Yeah. So. Oh, fuck. Here we are in the yard. Let's move a little bit further. Go work out. All right. And if you look Jeez. carefully at this, you clearly see it's two pyramid heads. Meds, yeah. With their, with their skewer. And this is the this is the execution with the with, Oh, with wow. Nooses. God, it's fucking dark. Yeah. So, bam. The seductress. Now, we're missing one. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot to pick it up. I was I was mistaken earlier. Well, to be fair, there's blackness everywhere. It's hard to yeah, see. no, it was yeah, but it's <laughs> it's extra bad because it was in a room in which I stated there was nothing and no point. Oh well, like whoops. It's did, the, did, the, this this part of the game is not nearly as fresh in my memory, unfortunately. That's fine. Uh, I mean, you know, to be fair, again, it's, it's black as fuck and dark as night. Black as I fuck feel and dark as night. I feel like a lot of this sounds like Metallica lyrics. Fuck. And dark at night. Yeah. 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 All right. Like James Hetfield is kind of a huge douchebag, and he's sold out and everything. Really? Yeah. But at the same time, yeah. <laughs> like. Yeah. Here we go. Kind of gets a pass. You, you, so yeah, we are able to get into rare instances of these. Uh, can't, can't I was mistaken. Get... I got discouraged because one of them was locked. <laughs> and so now I'm locked in. I noticed that your white noise is going off. It's going off a little bit. So Please I'm... enjoy our let's listen of yeah. Silent Hill so, white noise. So you, be, you become stuck in here for a little while. Not this is now becoming more and more difficult as the game goes on to talk about the game thematically while also attempting to avoid spoilers. Yes, uh, no, I, I can... Especially for a game that came out 13 years ago. ago. Jeez. Yeah. So, I, I put in the three things, and what do we got now? It sounded like someone just got hung. Give you the blood to atone for the three sins. So, let's, uh, let's go around back, shall we? So here we go. This is it. This is what we were all working towards. Okay. This is a trap door. Let's take a look at <laughs> it. What a trap. There might have been a handle here back in the day. But it's gone now. Lu but it's gone now. Yeah, see, now <laughs> you got it. And there we go. This is one of the most absurd it, it kind of is. puzzle solutions is. ever. Because <laughs> because that wax... That would crumble in a second. That wax would never be able to hold up. Like what? How long did he stand there and wait... For it to hours, hours, and once again, looks like you're going to have to jump. Looks like we're jumping. <laughs> there we go. So, but you're going further underground, further into the second prison, even further. So, I, so those are just holes in the walls with legs coming out of them. Well, this is the prison morgue. But that I back in the day, oh, and yeah, as I you, if you look would... carefully, you can see that the, some of the bodies oh, are, are double feet. stacked. Yeah, double stack. Oh, jeez, you need to double stack them. Did it just move? I always, <laughs> I always find that a hole like that it was created by someone with no foresight. No foresight. <laughs> ah, that's just a fucking hole room. There was a hole. This. Oh yeah, you weren't kidding about this part. Just really hammering it home. Yeah. Just drop deeper and deeper into the abyss. Like, when I think about all the later games, I just think of all the Yamoka piano ballads, and that's all I can... That's yeah, but you forget how grungy and, and, and mechanical it was. was. Yeah. It's, it's way scarier. Yeah. So now now we're... I don't know where the fuck we are. Yeah, we, we, now, like, now it's becoming incredibly confusing. I like how James is just like, how am I supposed to get out? Oh, we're in an elevator, so maybe that'll help. Where do you think this elevator is going? <laughs> Down? To express elevator to hell. Going down. When's the last time you watched Rosemary's Baby? Never. Never well, watched I watched it not too long ago. I mean, it's a creepy thing, but it's it's more it's that subgenre of uh, having evil within you during your pregnancy is really scary. So basically, every pregnancy. <laughs> oh. 
Take that. Sick burn. I'm pregnant. I always feel like I should send them a card that says I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's unfortunate. You ruined your life. It's unf- oh, come on. <laughs> That's what he That's said. horrible. That's bad. Hey, look at that. It's, I'm actually pens. It's pencil. Maybe he's remembering it. No, this... He's drawing it in as th- he's walking. This is a, a portion that I personally enjoy from almost all Silent Hill games in which you go to a place that can't exist. You go to a place that is impossible. Okay. You know how much I love Impossible Space? You do. You do. You it's like something that. like this. Uh, I said before even shitty movies, and I was trying to say that like even shitty movies... Like, uh, I'm trying to think, uh, Gothica, or whatever. With never, Hall- never even heard of it. Yeah, you'll know it in a second. It's um, uh, with Halle Berry, and it was really like, kind of a shitty movie. But in the trailer, there's this one scene, and she looks down a hallway, and she sees a girl in, like, a white gown. And she's walking at, like, half speed. Yeah. But she's also being sped up. And I know so many people that went, oh, fuck that. Oh, no, I'm not watching this. It's oh, a, I actually saw that movie. Yeah, it's a shitty movie, but that <laughs> one scare and that one thing that someone looked at and said, oh, what can we do to make this weird? See that? That's those areas. Those are the mandarins. Mm. I thought they uh, didn't appear in the entire game. Well, uh, they're very, very sporadic at the very least. Oh, shit. Oh, hey, look. Look who it is. Is this pyramid head? That's, Yeah. There he is. And there's the remainder walking b- yep. below you. Yep. Oh, this is fucked up. This is bad. This is if real bad. If we were together right now, we'd be scared. Uh, I'm kind of scared right now. See, look at my fucking health. It's not great. Uh, this is, uh, for all intents and purposes, oh, nice. Pyramid Head's home. Okay. This is where he lives. I wouldn't imagine he would need any localized base And you operations. know that he lives here. Okay, this is. Yeah, sure. Because of this. The Great Knife. So, I, I I read that if you equip the great knife and start swinging around, this enemies out. will... This is the painting. That's fucked up. You're this, right. This is the painting. Yeah. That's that's where that was drawn up. So, when you equip the great knife, sorry? You equip the great knife and you turn off your light, enemies run away from you. I did not know that. I, we, can, so, we, can so, t- we can trust that, test that out. Uh, someone But uh, it's very me. dark in here. So, the, I'll, the great, I'll, you know what? I'll get a better shot of it when we're above ground. Yeah. So that... Um, but enemies run away from you because they assume you're a pyramid head. I did not know that. If that's if that's the case, then that's an Easter egg that you know about that I don't. Well, a, a, a fan let me know. I didn't know. That. So you, th- there's only one way out, which is the way that I I came. So luckily we didn't run into pyramid head once again. Luckily. And uh, he will not bother us. So it's a massive weapon wielded by pyramid head, and that's where the name comes from. Is it's that, from that's this the first description. Time? Wow. It's the only time. Huh. Hard to Cause, use, Because other than that, uh, James just calls him the red pyramid thing. So you can tell your movement speed, jacked. It's yeah. terrible. And you can swing. Fucking berserk and style. And it's, it's heavy, man. It's real heavy. And if you hold it, you get the, the giant overhead. You get this thing is shit. astonishingly strong. Uh, it, is, it is hugely strong. But... It, you slow down so much that it's not worth using. Uh, what Fuck. do we got? That was... Yeah, even... Yeah, so what is that? That is a fucking... It's Majora's uh, Mask. I was gonna say a uh, Hellraiser cube. I don't remember how to do this. <laughs> it's fine. Now... <laughs> that's super wrong. Yeah, that's that's quite difficult. So let's uh, <laughs> let's there. let's just mess around with this. Oh, uh, yeah! Let's see what happens. Nope. nope. Whoops. Just press the buttons. Yeah, that looks good. No, yeah, I like that. Yeah, like that? Upside down? Hey, look, I got something. Yeah! So that is the correct solution of the puzzle. Nailed it. Uh, and it doesn't matter what way you turn it. It's just there's a face that's the good face. The good face. The one you want. Yeah. The one you need. So let's go down. And I love I love the way that fades out. It's almost perfectly dark. Maria, I thought that thing killed you. That thing. It stabbed you. There was blood everywhere. Stabbed me? Just before. Don't you remember? Are you confusing me with someone else? You said you took everything. But you forgot that videotape we made. So, you're Maria? I am. If you want me to be. All I want from you is an answer. See? I'm real. Come and get me. I can't do anything through these bars. Okay. Stay right there. I'll be there soon. 
So she's alive. Um, yeah. Uh, in a way that makes no sense. No sense at all. Everything about that makes no sense. She's alive, and what she's referring to personally. And, and she references the fact that, like, we did get separated in that hallway, but I didn't get stabbed yeah. by nobody. She's referencing things that happened with Mary that don't make any sense. Yeah. I, referring to herself, but then saying, I'm not her. Uh, then going into, like, straight up, like, hey, man, you, you want to you want, you want you feel wanna, like you have your wife you wanna again? Go, you want to go? was sure that the handle to this was red in the model. So maybe we can see here, but I'm... I'm pr- oh, well, no. We're, there's no way. <laughs> James's fat ass is <laughs> just blocking it. Wow, wow nothing fucking in here. Yeah, it appears to actually have nothing. Appears to have nothing. Let's check the map. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> okay. There we go. So let's... Well, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Well... If I get hit... Okay, I can kind of see James now. Oh, he just stopped. He stops. Let's try and hit him. (laughs) And he's dead. Yeah, there he's dead. So... I don't know what the hell that proved. I don't know. Honestly. Maybe, maybe. Because it could have gone, it could have honestly gone either way. He could have stopped, or the light is potentially that the, the enemies don't know you're there. Mm. But uh, with the light off in these areas, you can't see anything. Like, look at the screen right now, Matt. It's, it's fucking pitch black. Well, because there's no light source other than your flashlight whatsoever. Oh, here we go. Here we go. More downage. More downage. Good. I was wondering, like, we haven't gone down in a while. So. Yeah, no, yeah, we haven't gone down. It's like we need to get further. Vince McMahon is uh, the final boss of this game. It's one. It's one of those things. So, whoa! Fuck you guys doing this again? Yeah, I told you it was gonna happen. Oh, it was good. Play gripes laughing at us. Oh, really? Well, not you anymore. Oh no. Oh wow, and you're fine. You're much tougher than the other ones, aren't you? Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, he was dead even before I tried to kick him. So where are we? Avoid him. We are... In where? memory card. Yeah, we're in memory card. In the labyrinth. Labyrinth, fair enough. So let's read this newspaper, huh? It's stained with something that looks like blood. It's probably blood, <laughs> yeah. Why is it blocking out the E of H? Because it's, it's, it's the blood. Oh, okay. I thought that was someone that literally scratching it out. Like, no, Lying. you can't know. Lying. F- I'm gonna say face down. Due to signs of struggle in the room and the lack of a murder weapon, police are considering this a homicide and have opened up a murder investigation. <laughs> yeah, we're considering. Furthermore, this a given the fact that the cash in the room was untouched and Mr. Mr. Oreo Orozco, his oh. name is Orozco. I like Oreo. Do you remember? Do you recognize the name Orozco? It's familiar. There's a character in this game whose last name is Orozco. Uh, Angela. That's right. And a history of drunkenness and violence. The police suspect that the motive was not robbery, but a crime of passion. Yeah. So, he was stabbed to death brutally by a sharp weapon that the perpetrator kept with them. Mm Mm-hmm. I wonder what that could be. Knife from Angela, huh? Yeah, so we have have a very clear indication that Angela may have murdered her father. Ooh, he bolted. What is that? That's name. That thing's name is Doorman. This doesn't look like anything. It is a figure trapped inside a door frame on top of another figure that is screaming in agony. Nice. Newspaper article that we just read. And the horrible appearance of this room and doorman. Yeah, what are all those glory holes in the wall? They are sim- They are symbolic of sex. Yes, that's why I said that. Uh, get off of me. Uh, it's as bad as you could possibly uh, so think. That, yeah, okay. The, 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 uh, the, like, the idea that you have in your head as to what is the symbolism of this creature that is two figures... 
on it, like on a bit while Angela is screaming in the bed, man. Yeah, it it, it is the worst. Mm. Uh, doorman is horrific, and this room is horrific. It's not great. Not a great time in here. Every everything about this is the worst. Like, ooh. Are you okay? Relax. Don't order me around! I know what you're up to. It's always the same. You're only after one thing. No, that's not true at all. You don't have to lie. Go ahead and say it. Or you could just force me. Beat me up like... He always did. Angela. Don't touch me! You said your wife Mary was dead. Right? Liar! I know about you. You didn't want her around anymore. You probably found someone else. That's ridiculous. I never... So, that's extreme. That's one of the hardest things I've yeah. ever seen in a game ever. Yeah. So mm. Angela's extreme, bizarre, and often nonsensical behavior suddenly makes perfect sense. sense. And is totally justified. Like, I read some of her backstories. Just like, she tried to run away from home, and her father dragged her back home. And then she tried to run away again, and she found her way into Silent Hill. And now I can clearly see why she was always yeah. trying to run away. Uh, and like these are like, I don't want to talk things. too yeah, much I, about I, it because I, I. because it's so gross. Yeah. But the fact that they're metallic, that they're foreign objects. Yeah, just like really like puts the point home. Yeah. But yeah, let's yeah. This game is harsh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This, nobody, almost no one, like this. Konami put this game out. Look at the subject matter in this game. It's so extreme. It's it's extreme. and it's handled well. It's extreme. It's extreme, but it's also like kind of subtle. Maybe someone like yeah, might like not the, the, put it together. Like, yeah, somebody could. Uh, when I was a kid, I didn't get it. No, no, I'd imagine. I played this game when I was like, oh uh, god, like fourteen years old. I didn't understand. Mm. I just thought it was like a horrible, dumb-looking enemy. Um, but yeah, no, this oof, this fucking game. Mm. It, it fucking went for it. Yeah, it kind of did. It kind of did. And the fact that this game isn't, like, embarrassing... Thi <laughs> think of how easy it would have been you know, now, for this game to be embarrassing. Because look at all the Silent Hill games that are. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say, when embarrassing in a, in a similar style... Fuck this room. Yeah, fuck this room, uh, huh? Swindling. <laughs> Lying. Arson. Kidnapping. Kidnapping. And counterfeiting. <laughs> yeah. So that is murder, murder kidnapping, kidnapping, theft, theft counterfeiting. counterfeiting. Promises of great return. Taking gold he did not earn. Bundled up, out of sight, quietly slipped off in the night. I'm not sure what... And then, uh, I'm not sure what that one... Arson. This is arson. Three houses in ashes burned. The sheriff with no place to turn. Did a spy a stranger into his town, locked him up and beat him down. Dead man, dead man swinging in a tree. How many dead men do you see? Six feet long and six feet wide around their necks the new speed tied. Mm. So, let's go back to their room and figure out the layout. Five, Five two, two, four. four. Uh, next is counterfeiting. Yeah. Five, two, four, one. And next Five, is arson. Five, two... Uh, no, next is swindling. Swindling. Yeah. Right. It's non-specific. So five, two, four, six. one. One, six. Six, three. Three, yeah. Five, two, four, one, six, three. Five, two, four, one, six, three. Yeah, I know, right? Damn. It's not a hard puzzle, but like if we wrote this down, it'd be a lot easier. Five, two, so. And also, it's kind of hard to see. Though. Yeah, a little bit. Here we go. Whoa. And look, it's it's as if he was pulling it down on his for himself. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. All right. All righty. <laughs> well, come on, one more. They they the guy that animated it really wants. He to liked it. it. It's like, are you gonna are you gonna really like do six completely different animations? Hmm. 
for that thing. Like it'd be, it would take forever. Wait, what? No. Why didn't it work? Maybe you pull a center one. Did I did I do this incorrectly? But you can't uh, pull them again, can you? Notice. Oh, we missed the second part of the puzzle. So keep it in five two six five, five two four one six three. Only the sinless one can help you here. Mistakenly pull on a criminal's rope, and your reward shall be returned to you in a shape wondrously strange. So only the sinless one. What? Okay, so I pulled the. Uh, I believe this is the arsonist. Yeah. I believe. Or what? What are you doing? Wh which one's the arsonist? This one? Do you remember? The arsonist. Yeah. Anyway, we'll have to go back and check. Basically. So because because we, we screwed up and missed the early part of the puzzle. But so we're not actually supposed to pull all the ropes. We're no, supposed you're to pull the, the one, the one correct one. I'm sorry, everyone. I wasted everybody's time. <laughs> Man was hung for the crime of arson. So it is the upper right one. So Get that, the fuck out of our way. So, We're trying to do puzzles. So that's the thing. Oh, gee, so it just... If you fuck up, these guys come after you. Yeah, at least that was not going to be Unfortunately for them... I bet you have a shotgun. I, I, I have uh, the solution to, to their, to their <laughs> dilemma. <laughs> it's amazing. It's Amazing Shadows, the game. Man, I feel really bad. Sorry for wasting all your time there, peoples. Ah, oh, well. It happens. You, you got to see a sick fight. This LP c couldn't have possibly been perfect. It was, it, was pr it was pretty good there for a while. It was, it was going I, good. But then I ruined it, so... Well, well, you pull it. Just pull it. So now I just skipped the cutscene, which I should yeah. have done before, but I didn't know what was going to happen. But let's see what we get. I have no idea. There you are. Yeah. He's free now. So you, you lower it? Spooky let him. So that he would be free. And you got the key? The persecuted. Oh, the persecuted. Yeah. All right. Working so hard. Working hard for that money. <laughs> that supernatural money. For that Maria money. Mary. Yo, Maria. Give me where, that. Where the doll is at? This LP's fucking weird because... <laughs> The tone that we're going with is is usually pretty on, but whenever we start joking around, it is it is jarring. Uh, I, I don't think any tone will be as wacky as when we went past a certain point of being tired in Yakuza 4, mm. that we got to that special place that most people never come back from. Yeah. We become so silly. Yeah. And we was talking about when we we're doing the fucking uh, uh, male escort shit. Yeah. The the host 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 club. Host, host club. Oh god. Look, the blow up doll is really rising up the ranks. You gotta outdo her. You will be replaced. <laughs> Maria. Maria, no. What happened to you? So, uh, it's not 100% clear in that spot, but she was shot in the face. Really? I didn't get that. Yeah, she, she was shot, shot directly in the, in, the, in the cheek. Through her face. Huh. Because I was, I was going with the idea that those were the injuries she, she actually sustained from before. No, that was a skewer th straight through the back. I know, but it seemed like there was a lot of blood around the chest area mm -hmm. and just like some blood on her face a little bit. Um, uh, I, I, I'm, of the, I'm of the opinion well, slash knowledge. I'm not sure if I'm right on now that you mentioned that, but I believe she shot in the face because who's running around with a gun? Laura. Like an asshole. Laura. And now... <laughs> Oh, this place is creepy looking. Boy, is it. That Why is that so scare, much scarier? I don't know. That it's a bunch of grass and graves in a room. Mm. Yeah. I, I was just going to say, it sort of reminds me, not really, but just because it's similar. Just, what was the one memorable area from RE6? I was, uh... I don't know. <laughs> well done. I was just going to say the graveyard area in Leon's campaign. Yeah, I guess I remember it. <laughs> Ah. I guess. James Sunderland. He's like, owned. Oh, no. Gotta get out of here. And unlike the other two graves, which are full or empty, but whatever, mine. Super empty. Is a pit. Oh, that's so hardcore. Mine is a pit that I'm going to. If anyone to jump thinks in. they're hardcore, ask yourself did you jump into your own grave? That's a bottomless in, did you pit. Climb into your own grave? No, sir, I did not. <laughs> 
Well, you have no right calling yourselves the hardcores. Now I'm in the gr I'm in my own grave at the bottom of the earth. And look at this. This weird gas coming out of every. This is not little... fog. This is actual fart gas going up to heaven. A lot of fart gas. And, Just pumping more gas. And check this out. Holy shit. This is getting bad. Hard to see. Oh wow. Blood. Just blood, man. Everywhere. Maybe, maybe you just got a little whiff of the blood. Maybe you got a little whiff of the blood. <laughs> Holy crap. What are you doing? What does it look like? You're nothing but a waste of skin. You're so ugly, even your mama don't love you. It's all the same once you're dead. And the corpse can't laugh. From now on, if anyone makes fun of me, I'll kill him. Have you gone nuts? I knew it. You too. You're just like him, James. You've been laughing at me all along, haven't you? Ever since we first met. I'll kill you, James. New boss. <laughs> boss fight. Yeah. Don't don't let him eat pizza. It powers him up. It powers him up a little bit. <laughs> he is strong, by the way. <laughs> Why? It's final boss. He's shooting a gun. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> so there are a lot of bodies in here right and to the people that made fun of them and they they know you need the rifle because here's some rifle shit. like i got made fun of high school all the time baby. me too boy did i you know what like the solution isn't to just get like a 357 so magnum for some right. reason eddie killed a dog ran away well because the dog was walking all over him yeah and has some kind of horrible persecution complex. Definitely. Which he is taking to a ludicrous it's fucking extreme. To an extreme, yeah, definitely. When you're hated, picked on, spit on, just because of the way you look, after you've been laughed at your whole friggin' life. Yeah, you get a show. <laughs> That's why. Yeah, I killed that dog. It was fun. It tried to chew its own guts up. Finally died all curled up in a ball. He's gonna have a hard time playing football on what's left of that knee. You and me are the same. Let's party! Yeah, so Eddie's just a straight up psycho. I was gonna say, persecution complex or not, guess what? You killed a dog for no reason? For fun. You're irredeemable. Also, I do like the commando reference. Yeah. <laughs> You want the potty, James? Let's potty. <laughs> uh, yeah, seriously. So, Eddie killed a dog because he's a fucking sociopath. No, apparently the dog had it coming. Even though the, yeah, Eddie. the dog laughed at him. <laughs> uh, More than that. The, the fact that it's these two people with, who don't know how to fight just shooting at each other uselessly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, I see it. Plus, they get to pass the general that the combat is not even, like, you know, developed enough to even really complain about it. Yeah. I always felt that I could have a really cool showdown with David Cage in a setting like this. Oh, really? Yeah. Just two idiots trying... He's just fumbling around with chickens and falling all over himself. Oh, no. <laughs> and I'm tripping over... And Eddie also... Oh, yeah, there we go. Too bad. killed a, a human being. Did you really die three years ago? Yeah, so killing monsters and freaks and metaphysical manifestations of your psyche. You can handle that. That's Fine. one thing. Yeah. Killing Kill killing another person, even a dirtbag like Eddie. He's trying to kill you. Is still heavier. It's still something different, you know? I suppose so. Don't kill people. Well, kill people if someone's trying to kill you. Yeah, that's fair. Self-defense. Yeah, but still, you'd still feel gross and bad about it. I mean, yeah, well, like, if I could. Yay, outside, holy Christ. So how? I don't know. We're here now. We're Shut on, up. We're on the magic. same level you, that you, we entered in You at. said before magic, so it's fine. Fucking Magic. Although, frankly, if someone's trying to kill me, if I could fucking knock them out and then send them to jail, I'd that'd be that's I'd that's a pro. That. But sometimes you don't have. Then that I'd go choice. to jail and I'd be like, ah, loser, fucking owned. How did you let an idiot like me beat you? Matt, we're at a boat dock. 
Boat We've dock. We've gotten out of a prison. We're going to go on to a boat dock. We we finished the prison break. Yeah. And now we're going on the boat. And now, now we're going speed two. And now that you've escaped prison, you found your glasses because you missed your old glasses. Damn it. You got you there fucking before me. We're before, we're before this thing. He's like, Pat, you can talk about my glasses or whatever, but people are going to know by the time this video goes up. Like, no, we're getting my raw reaction. Yeah, this yeah, fucking yeah. nerd not gonna... with his fucking huge dork ass glasses on his fucking face. I like Because he can't read shit for shit. So, so you say that, right? And you also have glasses, but you don't have them anymore. I gave them away to my girlfriend because I don't fine. need them. That's fine. Except you do, obviously, because you're, they're yours. Yeah. Anyway, you don't need them. But you know who doesn't need glasses? Who? Someone that has 20-20 vision that we know. Yeah, like Wooly. Say, hey, I don't need glasses because I have 20-20 vision. So, yeah, hey, it's sad that you guys have glasses because I have 20-20 vision. Did you guys know that I had 20-20 vision? So then, Wooly, like, we're in, like, the... We're walking in the airport, and he goes, where's our flight? I'm like, it's over there. And he goes, no, that's not our flight. I go, Wooly, that's a menu in a restaurant. Yeah. And he's like, no, shut up. It's nuts that you have 20-20 vision. <laughs> we can see that, basically, the road's fucked, you know, so I, we're just gonna... Row across the I, fucking lake. I told lake. you this at the start of the playthrough. You should have just taken this boat to yeah, start. Yeah, I had to start to like <laughs> not laugh because you were just super right. Uh, <laughs> and there's a, a couple other things that change uh, due to uh, getting out of the prison. Oh yeah. So uh, the letter from Mary oh. is a thing that I've been checking out throughout the game and uh, reading the letter. I but saw a comment that says these things fade over time. Yeah. Damn, that's some Marty McFly shit. The letter no longer has oh, fuck. any it's text whatsoever. Uh, the knife is that's awesome. exactly the same, and the photo is exactly the same. You can see. I, speaking of the HD collection, guess who I met at MAGFest? Who did you meet at MAGFest? Like the main guy from Twin Perfect. The real oh. Silent Hill experience. I got the glasses. Okay, yeah, yeah. He just showed up at the... The guy who looks like some guy you knew from high school? Yeah, he totally does. <laughs> and he was really, really kind of almost nervous sounding. He was just like, hey, I just want, want to say, like, lots of people, like, seem to like your videos and like ours or whatever. Just wanted to say hi. I'm like, oh, it's really cool. I'm glad you guys backed me up on that act shit. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, no, it's not great. And then we were, we were busy at the time, so he just kind of said hi. I took a picture with him real quick. They seem pretty cool. Now, we've talked about them in the past, but those are a bunch of intense Silent Hill fans. Intense is... Like, if you guys think Pat to, is, to, to is the, intense. To the point, occasionally, of lying on the edge of crazy person? Yeah. That's... That's that's the medically appropriate. Yeah, no, yeah. James is the kind of guy who read Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah, on a, on a dare. Uh, honey, I know you're sick, but uh, let's read the book again. <laughs> I'll read it to you. I'll do the voices. And then the tie! I don't know anything then, about that book. I don't uh, know. Guess what? It's very pro-quivering. Pro-quivering. Things huh? quiver. Do they quibble? They quibble and they're quiver. He's like, yep. Yeah. Put my hands on my hips. It's a fountain in the shape of a bird, but there's no water. I like the fountains that have little kids that are like puking or peeing all over the place. Or getting uh, like judo kicked by a giant man. One of my favorite memes are people taking photos of themselves getting their asses kicked by statues. Yeah. Oh no, statue. Oh no. <laughs> or, or, or like Ronald McDonald in a weird position and some girl just bends over. What do we got? Head. It's a... Uh... It's a Little Mermaid box. That's it. That's Let's not get you started on the Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid is horrible. <laughs> I don't like it. But there's catchy songs, though. There are, in fact, catchy songs. I also don't like the king of of the mer people. What is his name? Trident or something? Anyway, yeah, he's, he's a I don't like him because he's just Zeus. I wanted. You know what? I'm gonna like just want this to be a bunch of his college friends playing a prank. Yeah. That would be awesome. Also, one thing, uh, one other thing that I fucked up is that the uh, boss that we fought in the Angela sequence mm -hmm. has two names. Doorman is a name that yeah. I'm not sure where it came from. You just heard it. Uh, in your I think it started. It, it started showing up in guides. Okay. Basically, uh, and a lot of FAQs still use it. the The character's actual canon name yeah, is what? Abstract Daddy. Ooh. Which is the most on the nose thing in the it's entire game. It's on the game. nose, but it's also super creepy. Oh well, yeah. It's, like it's both. It's not. It's not. It's very not literal. Creepy. It's not not creepy. And here we are, the friendliest thing of all, a horrible red cube. 
<laughs> I'm gonna start lapping my save points now because I've done so fucking many of them. There's just quite a bit. There's there quite, a, quite bit. a bit. There's I'm, like one minute, seven minutes. And I, the last thing I don't want to do is like run out of fucking space. You don't want to do that. In the, I don't think we in have the to go final back. sequence and I have to do this at the end. Don't want to have to go back to the start anymore. Rotating your saves is a good idea, no matter what. But it's a double good idea if you're recording that shit. Mm -hmm. If you're recording stuff, like, oh, we lost five hours of footage. How far does the save go? Uh-oh. And no Wow, that's... Nobody's eaten here. Yeah. Fucking bar is closed. Play it! Fuck. That totally got me. That's, like, the least subtle thing. Oh, okay. Did I scare you? Yeah. You're here to find Mary, aren't you, James? She's here, isn't she? If you know where she is, tell me. I wish I knew. But she said it in her letter. Wanna read it? But don't tell Rachel, okay? Who's Rachel? She was our nurse. I took it from her locker. What do we got? My dearest Laura, I'm leaving this letter with Rachel to give to you after I'm gone. I'm far away now, in a quiet, beautiful place. Please forgive me for not saying goodbye before I left. Be well, Laura. Don't be too hard on the sisters. Mm. And Laura, about James. I know you hate him because you think he isn't nice to me, but please give him a chance. Give me a chance. It's true he may be a little surly sometimes, <laughs> and he doesn't laugh much, but underneath, he's a really sweet person. Laura, I love you like my very own daughter. If things had worked out differently, I was hoping to adopt you. Happy eighth birthday, Laura. Your friend forever, Mary. Hmm. Laura. How old are you? Um... I turned eight last week. So... Mary couldn't have died three years ago. Could... could she really be here? Maybe you'll get it if you see the other letter. The one... Mary... Huh? I must have dropped it. Laura... I gotta find it! Laura! Okay. So Laura's been having a much easier time. Yeah, you know, clearly because a, a child probably wouldn't see half as much shit. Drawing down by Laura. That's a cat. It's not very good. It's not very good. <laughs> the oh. proportions are all wrong. Also, every time James talks about the timeline in regarding his what wife. What is that? It's bad news. There you go. Whoa. So you guys are back. But their primary one seems to be of uh, Angela's brother. Go. He's all the way here? Well, no, but her, her brother might not have been so great either. Oh, she's okay. I was gonna say, like, did maybe, like... The these are smaller, dirter bag. Dirter bag. I got a can of thinner. Eh. Let's check it out. Drink it. Thinner. <laughs> Every time... Every fucking I'm time. On, I'm on Netflix with a fiance, Every fucking we time. go buy thinner and we never watch it, but we all go, Thinner. That trailer has stuck with us for many, it's many so years. Stupid. Is that movie even good? Yeah, it's like, bad. Does anyone even know? The only good thing is that the guy that voice that voices um, uh, fat uh, uh, fat Tony in Simpsons. Yeah, that's he's right. like the main guy that helps the the main. Well, he's the secondary character that helps out the mm -hmm. the thinner fat guy or oh, whatever. Yeah. It's the only. There's only really saving grace. Thinner. No. Oh damn it. You were, you were hoping it was locked? Yeah, because mm. the more doors that are locked, the easier progression is. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Okay, good. We cleared out this room. This entire s fucking area is Get just completely clean. Get the fuck out of clean. here. There's no time for this fucking floor. Yeah. We got to go in three toes and get our dicks wet with this ghost whatever that's there. Yeah. Well, I don't know. That's what the Lakeview Hotel is known for. I'll be open for it. Getting your dicks wet for ghosts. Four ghosts. <laughs> Is what I said. For them. Yeah. So there's a book open. Looks like a med book. book. I've already met, read a billion of these None of them things. ever do any good. Well, if his wife was sick, it would make sense they would be yeah, trying to... Yeah, you know to, what? You're not wrong. You're trying not to, so like, wrong. figure out, like, hey, what do you got, honey? Not all of these were useless. Oh, this is, this is incredibly incurable. This is... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You got bonitis? That's rough. Yeah, your bones are getting huge. <laughs> The doctor huge. keeps saying that he has a huge boner. That sounds bad. Yeah, but in this case, it's actually super bad. It's actually, yeah, because usually it's good when the doctor has a boner. My only regret is that I have bonitis. My bones! <gasps> uh, 
I saw some comment uh, being like, man, this commentary is the weirdest. You got Pat going on, man, the themes of death! And then Matt's like, ha, boners. I, it's, this is the first time I said boners. Yeah, I know, but it's, I'm, I'm, I'm... Oh, for this... Mistabulating. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sure. It's locked. Oh. Shit. Can I unlock it with a fish? Uh, yes! Sh shut up. This is wow. the correct one. Earrings? Oh shit, I didn't, uh, it was a uh, key to room Use something something. X. So two shotgun blasts from almost any distance will take him out. That's me. Come on! Ugh. It's even, it was hard to see where he was happening, or grappling with him. Oh god! Just shoot. No. Oh shit, it's <laughs> a good thing. I, I knew. I, I felt it. So they do do damage for sure. Boy, do they. Look at all these pictures. Oh, I thought that was a bunch of money thrown on the bed. So photos scattered all over the bed. No! no. You can't look at the combo. Part of the photo has been covered with marker. Damn. Crudely covered with marker. It's a good thing. Now, a bunch of photos on a bed is what's known as an orgy of evidence. That's Too right. much evidence that it's not real. It's the crux of the film Minority Report. Yes, exactly, exactly. So let's use this thinner. In order to remove the the so marker, Colin Farrell comes in. And he just looks like who? What kind of what kind of pervert would throw all of his evidence all over the bed? That's so dumb. And yeah. everyone's like, "No, it was him." I, I want to just stop exploring. That. I want to just not just progress. I just I want to just not beat the game. <laughs> I, I don't what. Uh, you want to just not beat the game? Survival horror, man. Locked. The fact that nothing's going on is good. Yeah. Right. Because you never know. Like, it's more or less totally... <gasps> oh! <laughs> exactly! That's what I'm fucking talking about. <sighs> there must be something I'm missing here. There has to be something I'm missing here. You're missing your wife is what you're missing. Oh. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Man, that's broken. Everything's fucking broken. Oh! What? It just said I used... A key. Which one got used... The employee elevator key. That's not. A, is that an elevator? Check the map. I've refused this. Nope. Fuck that. That's horseshit. Yeah. Maybe well, it's incorrectly named. We figured our way out, but like, fuck. We feel and you, like. And you press the button. I feel like an idiot. Oh, so maybe this turns on the elevator. Oh, this is a hidden el. Because the map I have is for guests. Ah, it's That's not what. the secret employee. And I got a bunch of health drinks here. Nice. Floor three or basement? We'll go. Weight allowance is one person. Fucking what a shite elevator. Yeah. I'm carrying too much gear. Oh, fuck off. Guess what I have to put on the shelf? Everything? Absolutely everything. Are you serious? Yep. Yeah. Take them off. Oh, God, of course you have to take the fucking chainsaw. Yeah. Well, your Fred Durst gear. Do you even have the walkie-talkie on? I have nothing. Well, you could have taken your belt off your wallet. I just want the doors to open. There'd be a million monsters. Just, blah, 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 blah. He just this closed is, the door. This is part of the reason why um, I was so nervous starting this because you remembered this. Because I remembered this part, uh, and well, not so. This is the actual hotel man. for employees. Here's right? the sex room, laundry chute, some kind of crematorium. Creepy yeah. laundry thing. Creepy. Laundry. Hey, look! It's the laundratorium. There are potatoes and onions. Cookie. Cookie. It's the cookie. What? Is there actually in in, in effect Come nothing on. here? Because I Is am there something on the floor. I am looking at something. I got the Snow White music box. Nice. That seems pretty important. It seems like the most important. So seems I have the Snow way. White music box. Let's go back upstairs. Sure. If it lets you. Well, let's actually explore the rest of the area. Okay, well, just change your mind whenever uh, you like that. I, I thought the alarm was going to trip the instant I oh, walked okay. in. Well, just say that, then it won't, it won't confuse everybody. I mean, everyone's confused. Confused all the viewers. Oh, jeez. Oh, millions geez. and millions watching. Oh, millions? No, never, well, actually. When time is, time is completely gone... And this is the only thing that remains of us <laughs> and Silent Hill 2. <laughs> oh man, it's getting deep. It's like a time capsule. It goes further down? Just wear your glasses. I like thought me. this was gonna go further up. Nope. Uh oh. Where the fuck's this gonna lead to? You have no weapons. Uh, Not going there without my shit. Oh, it's a videotape. It was kept in the office. There's a can opener. 
I, underneath the videotape. Oh, I suppose you can open up the enemies slowly. That's kind of a weapon. It's not quite a weapon, man. <laughs> you can get them baked beans. Hey, enemies, would you like these delicious canned beans? It'll make you too. The more you eat. The more you do, the better you feel. So let's have beans for every meal. <laughs> this is... Because, like, this, this process of, like, run back to the light, check the map, right? It's actually really cool. Like, having to find the light source, like, it's even coming out of the window. Just look at your map so you know where you are. It's like... <sighs> oh, I'm gonna have a fucking heart attack. That's fine. Okay, now I can go even deeper inside. Go deep. You can go to the men's locker room, which I'm sure will be fun. I'm sure that'll be fun stuff. <laughs> I'm sure that'll be fun stuff. Looks like it's blocked off by stuff that I'm not able to see. Let's see, that sucks. Then... Shutters are closed. Oh, okay. Now time to do the basement. Uh... I gotta do it. <gasps> Holy shit. Well... Well... Fuck you, I asshole! I can read the map here! Haha, -ha, fucker! I got a key for the bar. Nice. See, I did have to come down here. Or drink. This is James's distance. Try a... <laughs> Elevator's still fucked. Nice. Oh! Ooh. Straight... Turn a little to the right, and then straight forward. There was a sound effect there. Did you get hit or no? Oh my god, there's what, more. There two? There's more. Fuck you, buddy. Huh. I'm now in liquor storage. I don't care how many legs you got. I could use some booze right now. Really? I missed the electrical room, which is the room I want to go into the most of all yeah, of them. Yeah, that was your raison d'etre for coming down here. Yeah. Yeah, I can't open her! How lucky is that shit? Right? You got dog food. Oh, God! When did you get that hurt? At some point. Okay. Let's use this can. You eat that dog food, Riggs. Alright. Light bulbs. Oh, can't really eat that. There's a light bulb in that can. Who keeps light bulbs in a fucking sealed tin can? The plague recently asked that question on Twitter. This, this town <laughs> is fucking banana shoes. Plain plague recently went asked that exact question. I just assumed that was with, something plague did. With the photo. And there's a lamp on the counter. Oh, okay, that's good. So that's this area, crazy. it's like they strip you of all your stuff so that, like... So... Let's use the. Yeah, let's go behind turn the bar on? and then turn it on. Oh my god, let's go over on the bar, Sean. Or it does nothing. Or oh no, it's actually it's it's already on. It's now highlighting the door. Oh wow! And I use the bar key, which means that you're coming out the other side, and it's too dark to read the map. Yeah, but look at this. Look at my location. Your my location the, on the is somewhere side. that I can now get back. To my to gear. Get your stuff, right. Which means I will do that. Uh, do that post haste. I want my flashlight back so fucking bad. Right? Need it. Why is this so gauche? This is a gauche That's like the ultimate running. suck it to lefties. Right? Where the word left just means bad and yeah. fucked up. Oh, cripes. Yes. Rescue everything from the shelf. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, got, I got my little boob light. Let's shine some of my boob. Mm -hmm. What? Little chest light he's got. This is attached to his chest. Okay, now we're going to go down to the electrical room, even though I don't have to. Okay. Yeah, what are you, got, you, you, you motherfuckers going to do to me now, huh? I got lights, I got shotguns, I got photos of my wife, I got everything. And then, right, we yeah, blank paper. We didn't paper really now. talk about that. Like, what the fuck is that? What? Why? Did she knows Laura? How? They were in. The, remember what Laura said? They were in the then the hospital get together. Yeah. That was true. Okay. So clearly, she oh, could. Oh, there's someone right there. She couldn't have died three years ago, which is. Yeah. Fuck you. That blood splatter looks amazing. That's pretty good. Uh, she couldn't have died three years ago, like James. Uh, yes. Yeah, so. But, I mean, he says that, but then... Like, Electrical, he, it was, in fact, totally locked. I didn't have to come back. Fucking there. owned. Um, but he says that, but then he doesn't follow up with any other additional with, like, dialogue wait a second. to explain what the and fuck And he, he doesn't react to, hey, this letter, the reason I came here. Remember? Yeah, yeah. He yeah. got the letter. And now it's basically gone. And now it's gone, so the question then becomes... College prank. When did Mary die, right? Or was Mary even real? Is, is Mary even real? Did she die? Period. 
right? And if if those questions are unanswered, why did James even come here in the first place? Right. Because all the hints that told him to go to the, the hotel or to the park as he's getting were, close, in, were in the letter and re- yeah. in reference to the special place. And as he's getting closer to it where he's supposed to be going... It's so getting, his reasonings become more, more unclear yeah. and, and harder to follow. That's why I think this is all Chad and Todd's doing. Chad and Todd. <laughs> <That was incredible. laughs> we got you, James! Oh, those motherfuckers! Ah, you guys are great. Uh, Corey and Trevor would pull this kind of dumb bullshit. This is the seat of the princess who awoke from death. So that's Sleeping Beauty. That is Sleeping Beauty. Where are the music boxes at? I know I picked them up. There, there, there. There you are. Snow White, Cinderella, and Little Mermaid. So oh, that would okay. be Snow so, White. Yeah, I guess it would be Snow White. It's the Sea of the Princess Who Fled at Midnight. That's Cinderella. Cinderella, 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 Cinderella. Snow White like spaghetti. And then uh, the, the, the mute princess is Little Mermaid. Because all she can do is blow bubbles. I bet, I bet when the prince, I bet when she got her voice back, the prince was like, yay, for like a minute. And he was like, oh God, I liked you better before you were talking about the ocean all day. I liked you better when you had a giant fish face. No, you have to have sex with it. There's a gun to your head. What kind of sex? <laughs> okay, so what did that exactly do? Nothing I got, I got the off. key to the third floor. Oh, I didn't see that you got it. I got the hotel stairway key. Maybe you need bigger glasses. <laughs> I probably miss my old ones. Probably miss. Oh man. Oh, it's gonna get unmanageable now. Every time you don't have your glasses. Yeah, I know it's fine. I like it. Oh god. Oh no. This is this is the horrible. And the and you go from the area that has like this 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 um the fairy tale thing to total silence. Yeah. It's it's, it's very silent in the <sighs> silent hell. Let's check the map before we go in here. Yeah. It's the only way forward. Okay, well, that's good then. So we've pretty much beaten the game the instant we walk through this door. Great. I forgot what was in here. <laughs> this is a nice, brightly lit room. Now, if you remember, really, it was at the very beginning of the game. But in the flashback of Mary talking... She was standing in front of that window. She's standing in front of this yep, window. Yep, So this is... This is a room that they, they like, stayed in. And this, this is the television... That's a it's shit hard to TV it's hard box. to see. Also, my flashlight auto turned off. Yeah. For for the mood, that is one of those things. Like nobody knows how what time what period the f- yeah, the place it's takes very place. Confusing. This could take place at any time. Or this could just be a vintage the hotel. It's exactly. like we have this old rustic aesthetic. Exactly. Yeah. Can't use it here. Mm. All right, you have to get in front of it. Like perfectly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, finicky Silent Hill! You're That's... almost ruining one of your core moments. <laughs> Are you taping again? Come on. This whole area used to be a sacred place. Please promise you'll take me again, James. So the cat's finally out of the bag and we can stop tiptoeing around it. Yeah. Uh, James killed his wife. It looks like he put her in the Taz mission or something. Uh, he, he smothered her with a pillow. It looked really subtle, actually. So, it didn't really show Yeah. That. Uh, so there's a lot of things I kind of got to go into before we go further. Mm. There's a lot. So 
people might have uh, realized, and justifiably, that, man, I was being really hard on James for having, like, sex thoughts while his wife was sick. Yeah. And his guilt seemed overblown. Well, his guilt was is seemed overblown because you didn't know that he had killed his wife. Right. Since he was having thoughts like that and all these, like, oh, man, I need wife shit... And then he kills his fucking wife, who's terminally ill. Okay, but that guilt skyrockets times one hundred. Okay, but you say that, but at what point in the game does it actually show or hint at that? That's the enemies. Really? That's what it's all based yeah. off of. It doesn't say. Yeah, it's like, like because we currently we don't know why he killed his wife. Did he yeah. kill his wife entirely? I don't know why. Entirely. Um, out of compassion because he, he couldn't because she was suffering like did she ask him or did he it, do it because he couldn't see her suffer or did is he it do it it? the worst one is when it's like you're just a huge burden yeah I need life. you out of my way that's the and, oh that, I hate that shit right all of this combined also um, early in the game when you get the flashlight mm. it's on Mary's dress and it's shining directly in your face mm. and that is look at you yeah, look, look at yourself the spotlight's on you and the yeah. instant you take the spotlight off you start to see monsters that aren't just about sickness you start to see monsters that are about sex mm. because that's when the mannequin appears mm. so there, there's a lot of also Maria now is clearly mm. fucking magic Man. Crazy shit. Yeah. So, so that's definitely Mary's name in her own handwriting. But there's no longer any letter in the envelope. It's just gone. And now it's just an yeah, envelope. Just turning the envelope. But uh, yeah, let's let's get going. I hope nothing bad happens. And I'm, I'm pressing the switch on my nothing flashlight, happens. but nothing is happening. Some weird music going on. Press the switch, but nothing happens. Yeah, some weird, some weird stuff going on. Upsir James for just saying like yeah I killed her to a little girl yeah like at least that's there yeah because he, he strikes me as the type of character normally that would go oh yeah I don't know what happened it's not I don't know but it's, like no he's starting to accept his guilt someone just elbow dropped her off the the, the medicine cabinet that's what happened Mary's going to die you you must be joking. must be joking. I'm very sorry. But you're a doctor. It's your job to heal people. How can you just let her die? Please, calm down. As her doctor, I promise I'll do what I can. But there's still no effective treatment for her condition. How long does she have? I'm afraid I'm not sure. Three years at most. Perhaps six months. It's impossible to say with certainty. Huh. Yeah. That was kind of a weird so, scene. So that's where the three years in his mind comes from. In the floating bed outside the lake? Yeah. Uh, there, there, there's there's weird stuff going on. Yeah, things seem to be we, going... We are now in a slightly normal. different version of the hotel. Yeah, it's it's just more like a little more dilapidated. A little more. Also, now these have changed as I passed them from being unlocked to being locked. Uh, or or, or uh, being like impassable to, to to being like raw. Yeah. Huh. So. Oh shit, man! It's starting to look like Willie's place. Now, I passed through two two oh two, and two showed 19. up nice. two nineteen. Teleportation skills. So let's check out. Ah. Uh, oh. And now. Wait. Now I'm in. You didn't 2020. Move. Okay. So this layout's gonna get real Man, confusing. Man, this must be really confusing for people that played this ever the first time, like back in the day. Oh yeah. And now I came out of room 207. 207. So. Let's get the fuck out. Basement time. No. You know it. You knew it. It's either basement or attic. Either one, don't go. Never go. <laughs> it's, it's. Remember who was in the shepherd attic? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, if you do have to go to the attic or the, or the basement, just tell your little sister or brother to do it. What the fuck? Yeah, I, monsters. I see nothing. It's the doorman. You're just shooting at water. I am not. I'm shooting at... doormen that are... Invisible? <sighs> Press the switch and nothing happened. Ah, oh, damn it. What? Yeah, this is, this is a tough one. I'm gonna try out the other floors. Nope. 
I'm, I cannot try out the other floors. So the reason, by the way, this the basement is flooded is because that's how... Uh, notice there are five health drinks. A lot. Uh, is because after a fire, if the thing really went up... Yeah. And you hose the shit out of it... Or sprinklers go off It's gonna. You. It, you're gonna flood the basement. Okay. Oh, that's what I like. Shotgun shells. You get the good times roll, maybe even. Just run. Yeah, and then left. And then take a right. There, I did it! Ooh! Ooh. This is fucking spooky. Oh, jeez. Mama! Mama, I was looking for you! Mama! Why are you running away? You're not my mama! Thank you for saving me. But I wish you hadn't. I deserved what happened. No, Angela. That's wrong. No. Don't pity me. I'm not worth it. Will you love me? Take care of me? Heal all my pain? That's what I thought. Give me back that knife. I won't. Saving it for yourself? I'd never kill myself. It's hot as hell in here. You see it too. For me, it's always like this. So that's the line that cements the permeable nature of mm. what people are seeing. Angela's been going through the entire game in Everything this house fire. Game. Yeah. Also, it's the ultimate proof that every single person in Angela's family is a piece of subhuman garbage. I, I guess so, because even her mom is like, yeah, whatever. And it implies that. that she took care of her brother at mm. some point between the labyrinth and here. Mm. And so you you walk out. And it's, everything's fine. And you you're through the door that you originally went through. Yeah. You gotta get out so of here. she was also just staring at a at a abstract daddy just bolted to the wall there. That was a female uh, abstract oh, daddy yeah? with no so head. Like, hmm. So wait, then it's not an abstract daddy anymore. No, it's 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 it's, a, it's, it's just a horrible horrible thing bolted to the to the fucking It wall. sucks because Angela just wanted to see her mama. Yeah, there you go. There's the block of shit. Yeah. So this is clearly after the fire now. Yes. Very after. Oh, yeah. I went through a door that... Yeah, well, lies. Woolly doors. There's, there's bets. There's oh, there's is something. this door that was not on the map. So I'm... Nowhere. Okay. Yeah, now. You're just off the grid. So where am I? You're now. still off the grid. Oh, jeez. You're like in the garden. Now I'm really nowhere. What the fuck? This right here. This is telling you, you are at the end of the game. It's because it's like, nine save slots? Yes. It's weird. It's the only save slot in the entire game that is any different. Mm. So. You spend very little time in the alternate hotel. <laughs> Let's equip the hunting rifle. Sure. And save the game. By the way, the dog ending, uh, we passed by it. Uh, we never were able to Damn get the dog it. key because this is the not, not enough completions on the save file. Damn. What happens with that is there's a, a room that's locked that you could open with the dog ending, so uh, with the dog key. <laughs> Do you just say those words makes me laugh? Um, if you want to find out what the dog ending is, uh, we're not going to be able to do it for you. Just uh, YouTube. Just really. type in the word Silent Hill 2 dog ending. It would have already occurred by this point in the game. Yes, yes. And, and watch it, and it'll change your life. It will. Because <laughs> it's the best alternate ending. It is, it is the best alternate ending <laughs> that has ever existed in any game. I remember when the strategy guide came out, they refused to tell you what the dog ending was. Uh, it was just like, no, just do it. <laughs> just do it. Because that was back before video was easily shareable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's go. James! Stop! Leave her alone! Leave us both the hell alone! Damn you! I'm not gonna let you keep haunting me! I'm not gonna let you tear me apart!
I was weak. That's why I needed you. I needed someone to punish me for my sins. I know the truth. Now it's time to end this. Damn. So, there isn't Pyramid Head. There's Pyramid Heads. No, I, I didn't, I never even knew that was a thing. Yeah. Uh, they are there to punish. Right, yeah. They, they, they are, they are monsters so. that exist to punish sins. Mm -hmm. uh, and there are multiple. Uh, so, Pyramid Head is the, has only appeared to James, because Pyramid Head is basically the avatar of guilt. Which is why I spent, like... Which is, you were asking me about the knife and the bird yeah, and all yeah, that yeah. shit? That's why. Yeah. Also, that's why it makes even less sense for, like, let's say for killing your wife is like, yeah, he should show up for that. But maybe Alex Shepard just be fucking all... Like, what What did he do? Yeah, nothing? Nothing. Uh, as we've gone through the game, I have said something over and over and over and over again, is that they are, in fact, invincible. So you're just running out the clock? Kind of. Okay. You do have to fight them. The... They oh. killed themselves. Well, yeah. So the reason they're invincible they're so is because since James refuses to accept his guilt, mm. it will never leave him. Ah, that's cool. But the beginning of this boss fight is, no, I get it. Yeah. I yeah, was I'm weak. Gonna, I'm going to do a thing. And Time the, to end this. the act of resisting them yeah, that's ca awesome. causes them to die. Shit. I got a rust colored egg. What? And a scarlet egg. Eggs. They're bail it. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. No, so. oh, bailets are bad. So let's get out of here. Hey kids, if you're gonna find a bailet, just leave it the fuck alone. Wish Liam had learned that lesson. Oh, I went through the wrong door. That's fine. That's actually fine. Save even. And uh, to those of you who said, uh, Pat, you're a fucking liar. You're picking these goddamn endings. We see you <laughs> looking at items. <laughs> To yeah. influence the ending. You're right! Oh, okay. But I, I tricked you, you because you all thought I was going for a different ending. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Re listening to the audio in the reading room dramatically affects, sways the, the ending. Wait, we're listening to Remember what? Remember the floating bed cutscene? Yeah. Listening to that dramatically pushes the end towards one of the other endings. Okay. But do you know if there's like simple math, will you get the one you want? No, you, you do it by feel. Okay. So I might be, I might have fucked it up and gotten an ending I didn't Well, want. you'll be surprised too, I guess. But uh, I'm pretty sure I got the ending that I want. Okay. <laughs> uh, I view it as the most thematically appropriate ending. Uh huh. It's the ending I got the first time through. If you want to see the other endings, there's this thing called YouTube, or you could play the game yourself. <laughs> also, uh, once we beat the boss, there's going to be very little talking because holy shit, that it's ending is in? fucking long. Wow, okay. It's really, really long. Like, a lot. Well, is it, like, long in the sense that there's just nothing going on? It's just slow camera pans? Or is it, like, stuff it, is it, 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 There's a lot of dialogue. Okay. okay. That, that's, that that's it, it is... Fine. That just, just doesn't stop. Okay. <laughs> so we'll be signing off, and then the credits will happen, and we'll come back. Mm. Mary? What do you want, James? Want any damn flowers? Just go home already. Mary, what are you saying? You look like a monster. Well... What are you looking at? It'd be easier if they'd just kill me. But I guess the hospital is making a nice profit off me. Don't come back! James! Wait! Please don't go! Stay with me! Don't leave me alone! Tell me I'll be okay! Tell me I'm not going to die! Help me! Yeah, so now we have pretty much all the background we're ever going to get mm, okay. on, the, on the lead up. And it's, why did he kill her? It was a bunch of reasons. Yeah. <laughs> right? Because he's out of the room for that last part. Oh, okay. It was and earlier in the very first uh, monster in the game was the lying figure. And I said that it spits acid. It yeah. could be sexual, but it could also be, or it could be the harsh words, words that she that said, she said that, yeah. that made him leave. That's cool. I like that better, actually. Um, 
No, but it, when I say either or, I don't mean the intent was either or. I mean it could be both. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's um, I, I'd prefer that. And uh, the one thing that I did forget is that uh, before we finish this off, is that remember earlier there was the hangman puzzle that was the the, the oppressor, the seductress, and the gluttonous yeah, pig. Yeah. Those are each for each of your characters, but there's one part that doesn't make sense because Angela is not the oppressor. Yeah. Because it's not about them, it's about him. Mm. It's about James. He's all three? He's he's the oppressor, and he's a gluttonous pig, and there is a seductive tentress. And thus, Maria is, is, appears. Okay. It's it's a it's a little fake but, out. But you know what I mean, like gluttonous pig, and it's like sure, but you really didn't. I'm I'm presenting a lot of things as I believe them, but it's a lot. You you could take different meanings away. Sure, from this okay, if you want. yeah. But this is this is what me and some of the other like uh, people writing FAQs mm -hmm. basically mm -hmm. agree. So let's finish our journey. Jasper Bat Jr. Is a Who do you boss? think we're going to find here? Jasper Bat Jr. Jasper Bat Jr.? You're pretty close. <laughs> You're pretty close. I don't think I am. I think you are. <sighs> and it is gone. And it's Mary. Hmm. And that bed. That's the bed she mm. passed on. Mary? <laughs> Wrong again. Mary's dead. You killed her. Maria? Maria, I'm done with you. What do you mean? But I can be yours. I'll be here for you forever. And I'll never yell at you or make you feel bad. That's what you wanted. Now I understand. The problem is, you're not married. No, James. I won't let you. I'll never let you have your Mary back. Jeez, all right. Go time. Just shoot it, I guess. Whoa! Oh, that Liam tech. Yeah, so she's been, uh... Women, you know? Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. And there's like a rebirth, like transformation rebirth. As aspect to that shit. Yeah. I um, see. Which is, I think, the reason why Maria has that tattoo. Mm -hmm. Because she's yeah. Mary Reborn. And at this point, she is not just Mary Reborn, she is now just turned completely into Mary. Right. I also kind of assume that the reason Maria even is such as he is, it's like Silent Hill or whatever you want to call it, trying to give James his ideal yeah. Mary and making her Maria. Like, oh, like, look, this, is, this, is, this is why you killed your right, wife, right? Because right? she wasn't like this. It is. And then I'm glad that he had that dialogue of, yeah, I'm done. Well, it depends. If I had spent the game taking care of Maria... Mary would be here telling you that I had betrayed her. Okay, but when you say taking care of her, what do you mean? Uh, it's visit, getting all of her dialogue in the hospital room, keeping near her, fighting off Pyramid Head in the hallway when she gets attacked. But you just ran. Rechecking the room in which she is shot to death. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. Because, in it, let's say this was to get made today, there would be three choices, and it will say, choose to do this... And that yeah. would be how they would determine. That, that's why. Games. That's why so many people appreciate Silent Hill too. And some people yeah. say it's the best game ever. I wouldn't say that. I'd say it's the best horror game of all time. Mm. It's subtle. Yeah. It allows for subtlety. We've said that like several times. Like granted, when you're looking at me fight this upside down demon, it, it doesn't nut, look too great. It doesn't look subtle. <laughs> you know. Yeah. But uh, you know. Fair enough. But I hope I've impressed that upon people. I, I, I think there's stuff like, there, anytime where you've shown or, or you've seen something that I that I didn't know, I, I only went, oh wow, really? Mm -hmm. like, those are one of those moments. Jeez. Kicker. So Matt, let me ask you, how you want to do this? Uh, how? There's only one way to do it. Well, no, there's all- you can do- it, one hit will kill her. Yeah, okay, but with what? Sure. 
I'm if we're gonna go with the burden analogy all the way, um, yeah, why let's not? go with it all the way. And I fucked up. <laughs> is there an overhead? Yeah, isn't there? I don't know how to do the overhead. <laughs> okay. Are you serious? I thought it was just hold the button. There, there you go. Mary? James. <coughs> Forgive me. I told you that I wanted to die, James. I wanted the pain to end. That's why I did it, honey. I just couldn't watch you suffer. <laughs> No, that's not the whole truth. You also said that you didn't want to die. The truth is, part of me hated you for taking away my life. You killed me, and you're suffering for it. It's enough, James. Now I understand the real reason I came to this town. I wonder, what was I afraid of? Without you, Mary, I've got nothing. Now we can be together. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday, but you never did. Well, I'm alone there now, in our special place, waiting for you. Waiting for you to come to see me. But you never do. And so I wait. Wrapped in my cocoon of pain and loneliness. I know I've done a terrible thing to you. Something you'll never forgive me for. I wish I could change that. But I can't. I feel so pathetic and ugly laying here, waiting for you. Every day I stare up at the cracks in the ceiling, and all I can think about is how unfair it all is. The doctor came today. He told me I could go home for a short stay. It's not that I'm getting better. It's just that this may be my last chance. I think you know what I mean. 
Even so, I'm glad to be coming home. I've missed you terribly. But I'm afraid, James. I'm afraid you don't really want me to come home. Whenever you come see me, I can tell how hard it is on you. I don't know if you hate me or pity me. Or maybe I just disgust you. I'm sorry about that. When I first learned that I was going to die, I just didn't want to accept it. I was so angry all the time, and I struck out at everyone I loved most. Especially you, James. That's why I understand if you do hate me. I want you to know this, James. I'll always love you. Even though our life together had to end like this, I still wouldn't trade it for the world. We had some wonderful years together. <laughs> Well, this letter has gone on too long, so I'll say goodbye. I told the nurse to give this to you after I'm gone. That means that as you read this, I'm already dead. I can't tell you to remember me. But I can't bear for you to forget me. These last few years since I became ill, I am so sorry for what I did to you, did to us. You've given me so much, and I haven't been able to return a single thing. That's why I want you to live for yourself now. Do what's best for you, James. James, you made me happy. <sighs> so that, so that, cue the corn. Oh, this is, uh, Why is it? I don't know. The song's <laughs> name is uh, Angel's Thanatos. It's, it sounds a little weird, but uh, each ending has a different, uh, Ooh. different track. Hmm. That. So, I remember when I was talking to you, Matt. I said, "Yeah, I'm gonna go for the in water ending," and you're like, "In water? Like, sure, in yeah, water." Yeah. And it's like because they they wrote the endings and such, and when the uh, thing comes up, it's impossible to tell what those endings actually mean. Until you see them. In water is the James kills himself. Well, he drives his car off it, into it, the lake or something. Lake. Yeah, he, I heard that screeching sound, and then it just stopped. And I was yeah. like, what's that? Because so that's what I took from him. Because he's, that he's in water. No, like, the, mm. So, here's, here's the breakdown of events that cause the different endings. Okay, sure. Looking at Angela's knife, reading the depressed man's um, note, a diary on the top of the uh, hospital... Listening to the reading room conversation, mm -hmm. listening to the entire uh, Mary conversation in the hallway before the final boss, mm -hmm. and not keeping yourself healed. Not keeping yourself. Like, not taking care of yourself. Right. Leads the game to believe that your James is suicidal. Okay. Right? If you constantly heal yourself, constantly look at Mary's picture, don't 
listen to the whole thing in the hallway. Don't, uh, don't listen to the reading room. It will make it seem like J James really genuinely came here not to punish himself, not to kill himself, but to find his wife. Right. And thus, when he doesn't, the final cutscene is slightly differently. What? Slightly different. I I can't remember, remember the exact details, but it's 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 not Maria. It's Mary. It's actually Mary. I believe. Okay. Well, when something happened, when and he was in the, the hospital room with her and he picked her up, you kind of made a motion like, oh yeah, this is the one I want. Yeah, uh, he, he leaves. It's called the leave ending. That sucks. And he leaves, and it implies that he adopts Laura, well, like Mary wanted. Oh. Uh, well, and then suck the, as much, the third ending is the... Well, no, it's, it's, it's the good ending. But it's not like this is the, the ending that you won, this is the ending that you fucked up and got a bad ending. It's yeah, like they're it's all just, just different. Just right, different. and the, the Maria ending is uh, if you defend Maria, if you visit her at every possible opportunity, mm. and you don't do the things that cause the other two endings, yeah. you'll end up with... You just drive off with her in a sports car. You, you walk back to your car with Maria. So, and, yes! And, and, he, and he's trying to pretend it didn't happen. Oh, and, that and the, and the instant you get to the car, she starts to cough, and he says, we better get that looked at. That's oh, that's actually super good too. All yeah. those endings sound great, actually. Uh, the rebirth ending is that if you get the four or five items that teach you how, uh, that Silent Hill has resurrection, evil magic, resurrection. is that he takes her body to the middle of the lake and performs a ritual conceivably to resurrect her. Mm. But you all you see is him going into the church. Oh, okay. And then there is the UFO and dog endings. Yeah. Which I highly recommend everyone look <laughs> up. And if you're going to look up the UFO ending, look up the um, Silent Hill 1 UFO ending as well because all the classic oh, yeah, Silent Hill... A lot of them... They're sequels to each they're, other. There are sequel endings to each other, yeah. yeah. So that, that performance is probably the most amazing voice actor performance I've ever heard in any game ever. Is Mary's letter? I don't think it is. I put it at number I one. I think maybe at the time this is released, you might have a case. Maybe. But I'm all uh, and I think that letter is the saddest thing I've ever it's, it's, seen. It's, 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 it's up there. It's, 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 it's Although she like, says, this is too long, then proceeds yeah, to it, go it, on and on. The fact that the actress's Ooh, voice down. is like breaking over time and yeah, she's on I the mean, verge of it's, it's that, That's what she's going for. So. Uh, Defeat an enemy by shooting. I, I got a decent rank. And uh, my boat. Oh, by shooting it means by finishing a mop of the shot and not the kick, right? Yeah, so the okay. kick is by fighting. Item With use. The boat max speed? Who gives a shit? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's really weird what they, they so service weird. to use. Your rank was like 12 stars? 10 stars. Jeez. And I had 33 saves. And look, yeah, in the ending is in water, leave, or Maria, or oh, Rebirth. Okay. Dog. It's nice that they're named And like let's that save that clear data, shall we? Yeah. Why not? And we'll save it at the very beginning. Uh, no, I'll save it on slot uh, the like the very last sure. slot. Sure. Just just in case. Just you know, in case happen. something happens. That's weird. Just in case, you know. Mm -hmm. I'd like to keep this one. And that's Silent Hill 2. And Silent Hill 2. It's not the end of it. Oh no. There but it, that more. is oh. Letter for Silent Hill. So yeah, we're going to be doing Born from Born a Wish. Born from a Wish. I don't know if I ever said who's in this, but you could probably, uh, you could probably fucking guess. I don't guess. know if you said it on camera, no. You could probably guess who's in it. When I woke up, I was all alone. Is it because of those monsters? I don't have any reason to go on living. But I'm scared to die. I'm so afraid of pain. I don't like being alone. But is there anyone left alive? Yeah, so like I was saying before, uh, I know a lot about the main game. Okay. Uh, I know have you almost played through, have you played through this before? once back once? in 2000 okay, and... Four? I want to say 2004. I was going to say, I have, like, already off the bat, like, you told me that you control her, but controlling her, to me, makes no sense. Well, this is this is before the start of the game. No, but even that is, like, I just imagine she was birthed into existence whenever James is around. Well, here here's here's the thing. It's, like, her dialogue in that early scene is weird. It's super it weird. weird. It's way weirder and, and introspective than any of the other character dialogues. Yeah. And... 
whether or not she was a person that got changed or fabricated whole cloth, I think it's pretty clear that it happened about 10 seconds before the start of that cutscene. Okay. Because yeah. her, her yeah. desires and her musings on the world are, like, childlike. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're just, I don't want to, I don't want to die because I don't want to be alone. Yeah. And it, I mean, that's, that's an easy thing for anyone who's just suddenly popped into reality to say. So whether or not it was a, a stripper that was alternated into a Mary lookalike, or, or like a, one of the whatever. nurse they changed one of the nurses or something. Uh, I don't know. Not really important. But it's like either it's like I just assumed just she was an illusion or fabrication whenever James was around, or that she was just like yeah, she just just born right now. Well, the 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 timeline of this is that James literally literally just walked into town. Okay, I'll, I'll accept so that. So if, if you wanna if you wanna take that like route of well. Wow, I can't remember this fucking game at all. Where we even need to go? I have no idea. Cool. Literally no idea. I love idea. that. I like that. <laughs> not knowing where to go. This is, the t this is gonna be the total opposite of the main game playthrough. Yeah, that- the main game playthrough. <laughs> well, I know, that's the thing. <laughs> it's just funny sounding. Also, she runs like shit. I, I'm trying to struggle to think about what like, aside from that starting dialogue, what she would have to say about Yo, anything. Goo. Because everyone but James, or even James, when they see monsters, they're like, oh, there's monsters everywhere. Oh, that's a well, that's a hell of a thing. Yeah. And well, no one well really everybody, everybody else says there are monsters, but they never clarify it in any detail whatsoever. There's monsters. And for Angela, it means, like, her family members. For, uh, yeah, this is Look at that idiot. Look at this goo all over the place. Uh, for Eddie, it means people that made fun of him or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, and then for James, it's this bullshit. Uh, and she's clearly in James's Yeah, yeah, version. okay. I'll, I'll, I'll accept that. It's kind of like, well, okay, but he's here, so he's like the active member. Yeah. That's changing it Well, because she, she's, she's one of his monsters. Him. Yeah, she's so, a monster, for sure. You know it. The, the idea that the monsters are just beyond your range, just flapping about and flailing all around the place like soggy socks. Oh. It's always hilarious to me. I can't... Music I can't. intensifying. A little bit. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh, I made it past him. So that's a, that's a door. Let's see what goes down here. I'm gonna say nothing. It's your fucking right, nothing. Ooh. Spook. This is Resident Evil-y. Yeah. Evil-esque. Danger. What a nice townhouse. What a townhouse. Yeah! Yeah! The Baldwins! Oh, God! Get out. A bunch of low-rent movies in here. Oh, except for that one guy. Mercury Rising. Fuck! Your, your Mercury Rising is my face-off, I think. Because it's better, though, because every time you think about Mercury Rising... I don't know what the plot was. Oh, you don't know what the fucking plot some is? Some kid knows a bunch of shit oh, math it's, in his head. It's the fucking... It's the absolute fucking worst. It's uh, Alec Baldwin. Whoa. Oh, how does this... Calm down. Oh. So Alec Baldwin is a CIA man. I didn't think you'd continue this. Uh, yeah, Alec Baldwin's <laughs> a CIA man. And he's like, we gotta make this amazing fucking new super code so that operatives... Operatives in in faraway countries that are like secret agents can maintain their cover. Yeah. Um. And uh, these two nerds basically were they're like, we gotta we gotta finish fixing the code. We gotta we gotta you know, we gotta put. The uh, finishing, we still have a few more weekends of work. Yeah, we here. gotta put the finishing touches on it. So what we're gonna do <laughs> is we're gonna put it out in a fucking crossword puzzle. That we're gonna <laughs> put out well, like an impossible crossword puzzle because so, you have to break this like NSA code. Don't to, tell me the stupid kid solves this. So this uh, Bruce Willis, I don't remember how he gets involved with the kid, but this eight-year-old like autistic kid solves it because in movies every person with autism has superpowers. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, no, for sure. He solves it and calls the line, the helplines, like, "No, I, I solved it. I'm a genius." And then I think the the secret agent Al Baldwin sends secret agents to like kill the mom or whatever, and he's got to kill the kid. And, and, and then Bruce Willis protects. And then Bruce kid. Willis is like, no, you can't kill this kid. And like the fucking crux of the movie is like Alec Baldwin with like holding a gun to an eight year old child's face. Yeah. Like lamenting about the, all the. This guy has been a, a national hero and he'd be sold out if this code got broken. 
and yeah, and then Bruce Willis is like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" But like the whole the whole movie is Bruce Willis like chauffeuring this kid that is acting like Baby's Day Out. Uh, the other thing that I know about Mercury it's, Rising... It's fucking terrible. It's that, so bad. Is that the poster is a poster of Bruce Willis with the kid in a headlock yeah. and it's speed lines yeah. happening around It's <laughs> It's fucking schlock, man. It's, uh, the, only, the, the movie that I really associate with Mercury Rising is, of course, uh, The Jackal. Because it's also a Bruce Willis... And, and Richard Gere thing, and they they Wait, killed Rick, Jack Black in, did, in Canada, oh, yeah. and they had that oh. sick fight. Stop it! You're disturbing me. Thank God, I finally found somebody. I want to be alone. Other people just irritate me. I just want to see another human face. There's no one here. Just monsters. Yes. I know. You want to be alone in this insane asylum? Yes, exactly. But how can you say that it's this town that's insane? Perhaps it's we who are insane, hopelessly insane. Are you satisfied? Would you leave me alone? My name is Maria. Ernest. Hemingway? Baldwin. Ernest? I'll be back. So I could just feel Matt writhing around, fighting fighting the the the, the cutscene restriction we've imposed. For first of all, and when she said Hemingway, I was totally thinking the same thing. Yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah. It, it's a very all, silent health thing to do. Second of all, I really wish after she said I'll be back, she'd crash a car through yeah, the fucking right. door. So yeah. I'll be back. <laughs> They love that. They love them old gods. Oh, back in the Silent Hill, they love it. Oh, oh, I thought I saw something there, but it wasn't active. The Ernest, a little help? No, nothing. So her, uh, her handgun, her revolver, pretty good. Fucking kicks ass compared to James's pistol. Is this different? We didn't really in canvas the place that well to begin with when we walked in. I think it's Whoa. different. For some, pre- for some reason, there's a ladder in the fireplace leading up. Who the up. fuck would go up a ladder like that? Me. Actually, si- wouldn't. Silent Hill protagonists would. Yes. This is very similar would. to the ladder that's in Silent Hill 1 that's underneath the school. Or like James just sent on bombing down every giant hole he finds. He has to. We got a tombstone puzzle. All right. Let's 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 board it up. Combined. I hope the, the puzzle is just slap it on there. Looks yeah. like it is. And just slap it, slap it, slap it. So th- this kind of stuff ties into the rebirth ending that we didn't get. Mm, okay. Um, where it deals more with the Silent Hill old god. Oh my fucking god. Damn. Board has been inserted. See overlapping. Yeah, remove it. This okay. is going to go well. This is going to go really well. <laughs> oh my god. This 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 might be uh, something uh, called a time lapse. <laughs> oh yeah? Okay. In which uh, I fucking brute force this over time and you get to see it. I hate, I, I hate puzzles. Like puzzles, puzzles. Not Tetris like... is great. No, that's different. And Medeos is great. And uh, there's probably a couple others. And Luminous is pretty good too. But uh, yeah, I covered it. Yeah, all by yourself. All by myself. But uh, oh, I hate puzzles. Which, I don't know, is that the guest room? Is that the fucking... It's the sun parlor. Is it the kids' room or the sun parlor? Hey, guess what? If you have a fucking sun parlor in your house, unsubscribe from our channel. Okay. We don't want you. Don't tell people to... Uh, how many... Man, Matt, you're the only person on the team that doesn't get this. Don't pe- don't tell people to stop watching. Don't tell people to unsubscribe. I am confident. Would you want someone that has a sun parlor in their house to be a fan of you? I, I want everyone to be a fan of me. Well, I don't want. I don't want that type of riffraff associating with us. Mm. Sun parlors. Sun parlor. <laughs> I think. I feel. I feel like there was a point in my life where my parents might have gotten a ha- like we were looking at homes, and I think it might have had a sun parlor. Well, you dodged a fucking bullet then. Mm, a solarium. <laughs> yeah, a solarium. Oh no, I know what it is. It's the apartments across from me. There you go. What a whole set of them as fucking solariums as part of the apartments. Well, they better not be watching this. No. I know one of them sure isn't. <laughs> so this is this is the potential for gentlemen, ladies, start your photoshops of Ernest Goes to Silent Hill. 
<laughs> Everybody loves stuffed animals. Everybody loves stuffed animals. No, I know people don't. They're they're monsters. No, they had reasons. What? Who doesn't like a stuffed animal? You can't. I bet. My co- is it another woolly story where it's like my cousin beat me up with a stuffed animal once in Grenada? All of Wooly's stories boil down to blank beat me with blank Grenada. Dude's got a lot of cousins. Yeah. So it's a pile of junk from the spider web. What? Doesn't look like. The fuck? This lady's speaking it's in a wooden riddles. box here. It's gone now. Something below the chair. Books. It's a birthday card. To my Jesus. dearest daddy, happy birthday. What's with all, all caps? Amy Ball. Because kids are stupid. Yeah. They don't know <laughs> l- upper and lower case. <laughs> They're fucking morons. Did you ever learn cursive writing? Uh, I know hell and damn. Let's take a look at it. Probably poorly drawn. Examine. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. I was not aware how much they cut corners on this shit. It's clearly a lot. What the fuck? Okay. To my daddy. Got it. All right. So, uh, this place is cursed. Yeah, cursed shove this under Ernest's door. Uh, yeah, pretty much. See what that... Oh, oh Jesus! It's fucking hell. Gal pick up! Oh! <laughs> oh, you're, you're dead, though. Oh, my God. What is happening? Unpause. What the fuck was that? Uh, my... Freak accident. Analog stick got a little... Little little finicky. All stuck, but then I pushed it in the other. No, that was a bug. It's fine. That was a fucking bug. Mm. Well, in ancient Babylonia, was thought of of the tree of the goddess Ishtar. Three, two, three, four, four, two, three, and these men are pawns. And it was a symbol of life. Goddess Ric Flair. It was also a holy tree to the ancient Jews who built the sacred Ark of the Covenant from it. What? Shut up. Shut up. The Ark of the Covenant's made out of some fucking the evergreen Ark of the tree. Covenant. That'd be crazy. We gotta make some we gotta make some shit out of this tree. <laughs> That's a good thing to make uh, out. And for of whom it. it signified a peaceful death and release from grief. Not when the Nazi opened up the wrong one and burned his face off. Yeah, that movie's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mercury Rising's really good. No. <laughs> yeah, Mercury Rising. We're confusing Mercury Rising with like, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh. Mercury Rising sometimes gets his face burned off. What is going on? Baldwin there? sounds like a rich family. Seems a, like a, a bunch of rich assholes. A dirt bags. Bobby Newport. Get out of here, Bobby Newport. Nobody. Wait, was that it? Was that literally come on? Like, have I exhausted? Nope. There's one on my left, which I could not see. Nope. All right. Great. Well, I'm really good at figuring out which way is the progression. Uh, but yeah, you're right. Brightly lit. Yeah. Effect on her skirt. Vinyl. The reflection is like similar to the uh, mannequin or line yeah, figure. Yeah, it's got that kind of slimy, shiny texture. Yeah. Because that's Maria. She's a monster. She's slimy. This is for Jesus. the... Jesus. S- Wait, what? No, it's too long. Oh, no. Wow. Wow. Mm-hmm. I thought this was an impossible hallway. For sure. For a second there, I, I agree with you. Yeah, no, look, the servants' quarters room. and shit. What a bunch of dirt bags. <laughs> yeah, servants are shit. No, not the servants being dirt oh, okay. bags. There's a mop and bucket. I don't really feel like cleaning. <laughs> what you can do now? When you can do it later. Oh, well, yeah, it's like I could be lazy right now. now. The benefit of being lazy is now. Procrastination makes it happen. It's like if I if I do the work now, don't I do get, it. I get to enjoy myself later. Yeah. But if I don't do it, then I get to enjoy myself right now. Later doesn't happen until later, until so later. don't worry about it it's now. It's like fuck over your future self. They're dirt bags. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that guy could make a billion dumb decisions that you don't agree with. That's true. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, there's something there. Yeah. Gotcha. Music's still going. Yeah, it's still going. Oh god. This is outrageous. Oh god. Oh god. Bookshelf is lined with difficult looking editions. <laughs> difficult looking books. Oh. Do you know a little girl named Amy? Why do you ask me that? Uh, this letter. To my dearest daddy. It's from a girl named Amy Baldwin. Where'd you find that? Up in the attic. It's too late. 
I finally understand why. Why she was holding that empty envelope when she... when she fell. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I reminded you. I've never forgotten. Some things we forget, and some things we can never forget. Ernest, I'm sorry. I'll leave it here. Thanks. Maria? So, you must be... That's why... That's why you could see me. Huh? In the apartment next door, there's a bottle containing a white liquid. I must have it. White? I'll open the stairway door. Well, that's okay. I don't mind fighting for an impossible cause. Anyway, it beats just giving up and doing nothing. Maria, thank you. Okay. I have no idea how, like, little... What? Uh, I don't know how little Amy managed to go from writing a letter to flying out a window. Um, I also assume at this point that Ernest is just a brain in a jar. How am I doing? Does that camera have a viewfinder? Look at me. How do you think I'm doing? Bert, please tend to your camera. Yes, Doctor. Your circulation shit can't stop us. I can't. I fucking did it, finally. Jesus. Okay. I, I don't know if you're interested enough to look it up later when we're done. But whenever Jed Jaguar speaks to people, he oh, makes oh. that fucking sound. Boy, boy, am I not. <laughs> and you'd be right not to. But it's really... Because we've talked about how, like, before, like, specifically Street Fighter, they just straight up lift Godzilla sound effects. Yes, unlocked. Yeah. It's implemented. So I just assumed a lot of Japanese games have done that over the years. Oh, yeah, they'll steal shit all over. Yeah, it doesn't matter. There's, like, there's no copyright laws over there. I've never, um, I've never seen Twin Peaks. <laughs> Says Swery. Yeah. I will not let it go, Swery. You're an awesome guy, and I like you. And your games, but, your and games you, are, and you follow us on Twitter. For yeah, some and your games are, your games are weird, but I will not let this go. I will not let it slide. You did see Twin Peaks. You saw it a lot. Somebody explained to me like what the deal with that is, and it makes total sense. What's the deal? I'm afraid of getting fucking sued. <laughs> oh, no map. Nope. So new, I'm in... Uh, new territory. I'm in nowhere town. You know, it just hit me. Who the fuck has a map of their house? <laughs> well, when you live in my house... Left. Like, left and up the corner. No, no. Yeah, you're that's going what back I did. Up. No, no, no. You're going back up. You're back up. Really? Yeah, yeah. Again? Yeah, go, go, go back down. You'll see. Oh, my God. Hold on. Wow. So I turned left... Like, do you mean right? Left that way. Oh, I was doing it in Her, regards her to left. the character. Yeah. No, that left up a corner. Yeah. Oh my god, you're totally right. There's something there. No, now you you flipped upside down again. Oh my god, this is yeah. This... Just right, right. There's so, there's something there. This is hard. Is it a stairway? I don't know. This is hard to do. This is very hard to the, do. Everybody. The, okay, now turn. Yeah, up. There, there, that's oh a stairway. God. Holy shit. I'm not even wearing my new glasses. Fucking nobody expected these to be have on properly calibrated televisions, I, I guess. I suppose not. They can't. Actually, you know what? Fuck. Let's see if I can change something about that. It's hard to future proof this shit. No, wait. Never mind. I just realized I can't. I locked my TV settings. Nice. So no one would ever tamper it with. Pretty much. I bet pretty you told your TV, even if it sounds like it's me. Don't let me tamper with the settings. Pretty much. Holy oh my crap! God. There's a lot going on. I like this. I like that it's just straight up. No, that place. That place. That's fucking haunted. <laughs> it's cursed. Everything's cursed. Everything's cursed with you. Every day, all day. Every day. <laughs> I'm tired of it. Getting tired of your cursed shit. Yeah, I don't, don't need a map, map of this area. I, I just give me a general idea. Oh. Get out of here, you! You lying figure! Get out of here, my future! 
dirtbag. Yeah, okay, everyone in the stream, if you agree with me that they sound like Jet Jaguar, let me know. This is, we're streaming this now? No, we're not. I just like saying that. What the hell, man? Because it confuses people. They're like, what? You guys stream? I'm like, no, we don't. These parts are going to be off the rails. No, I like them. I'll get the fuck out of here. Oh, it's super dark, you guys. It's the darkest dungeon. This is literally the... Ah! That scared me. That's the exit. That's where you came from. That's where I came from? So go that... that go up. Oh, hold on. Let me... Yeah, no map of those are... Like, look! On the status, you can see the screen no problem. Yeah, you're right. You're totally right. Use that to navigate from now on. I guess I kind of have to. <laughs> I can't believe how dark this is. If any of you are I... making a survival horror game... Not this dark. Yeah, not this dark, but also, like, force people to mash against walls. Also, I gotta... Okay. Yeah! I fucking did it. The fucking white liquid just better be in here. I don't give a shit. God damn, right? I remember this thing exactly. White that, liquid. that was the coin puzzle. Oh, right. Right? And uh, that, I think, for James, that is also where he found the white liquid. A lot of, a lot of ground swell around this white liquid. A little bit. A little bit of white liquid here. There's some more Jet Jaguars. Oh, oh my god. Shit. Oh my god. You just got a face full of it. I just got Jet Jaguar. <laughs> Da, 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 da. I once again don't have a map of this area. No. Just give me a map for everything. I don't just care. Give me a map for everything. I area. don't care how little sense it makes. I really don't. See, at the end of the day, I don't care how dark you make your shit. Just let me have a fucking map. This or a flashlight. Dock, or, or something. Uh, all right, artist. I got your your goo for you. Yeah. Thank you, Maria. The gods are here. You know it too. You were born in this town. I'm not sure God is the right word. Do you believe in fate? Ernest, can I open this? There's nothing beyond here. I know. That James. He's a bad man. He's looking for the you that isn't you. Do you? Know something? Yes. Maria, you're... Anyway, that's just what you think. You don't really know anything. No, you're not. Do I look like your girlfriend? My name is Maria. Yeah, so that's born from a wish. Yeah, gee, that was a whole lot of nothing. A whole lot of nothing. Well, yeah, they, I mean... It, it's an additional sub scenario. Can't really complain. Is a percentage. Actually, free. I think the man, I think the game is stronger without this. <laughs> yeah, man, I can um, see that. I can see that. Uh, I do like that. Like, that seems to be a point of where she goes from being like, like as soon as Ernest is about to tell her what she is. No, nope, she's nope. like, no, nope, don't want to hear this. Don't want to hear it. That's I just fan fiction. I don't want to hear that I'm a flesh golem. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't want to. A mannequin. I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to hear this shit. And just, uh, the only other thing of note, I guess, is that the white liquid, 
and all that stuff about the tree. Yeah, what is that? There is a reference to that in Silent Hill 1 where there's like uh, White Claudia is this drug that the cult manufactures en masse. It's actually a, where the cult gets their money is from drug dealing. Okay. Of, of something like that. Okay. I think it's also it's a narcotic, but it is also a hallucinogen, uh, hallucinogen a hol a holy I'd imagine, thing. I'd imagine. Like peyote or something like that. But, uh, but yeah, it's like that goes in a little bit deeper into like, okay, it is a giant spiritual smorgasbord of things that are constantly aware of things that are happening everywhere. Because, mm -hmm. like, Ernest shouldn't know about James, but the instant yeah. James walks into the town, Ernest is like, oh, yeah, well, it's another one of these. It just sends out this James shockwave. A little bit. Probably, like, yeah, yeah. probably the same for Eddie, probably the same thing. Also, spoiler, uh, you probably figured out, Ernest was a ghost. I'd imagine he so. He was a ghost the whole was time. Empty. He, was, he was dead. And there was a ghost story, it was a haunted mansion. Uh, while, while I like Stay Out of Haunted Mansion being at the back of the Haunted Mansion, I think it is absurd that they had to resort to Stay Out of Haunted Mansion. Mm. And also we're seeing uh, her credits here, so like, it's like almost like we, you beat the game in the other game as her. Because James got all his cutscenes. It's true. And now she's getting all of her cutscenes. All her memorable cutscenes. I, I have kind of this weird thing. As soon as James shows up, she take like she becomes much more like mm, sexy. She, she and whatever. like finalizes her transformation. Yeah, it was all the preamble of this scenario. Just she's kind of like, oh, what's going on? I don't understand. That, that's why I like to think that like the reason why everything about her is different except for her face. I like to think that she wasn't just created whole cloth. Yeah, she was a person that was then altered. To, so, just, to just have the face and voice. Also, it was Akira Yamoka that probably took those Jet Jaguars out of us. Probably. Uh, Yamoka. <laughs> and yeah, and look, look, you're seeing the final cutscene with the rifle with here. The game, yeah. It's, it's fucking weird. It's Imagine super weird. you started weird. off with that, you played this, and you got the greatest... Oh, I don't think Xbox you can. Version. I don't think you can. Oh, I, th I think it, was, it requires it a save game now. Oh, okay, that all makes I think sense. so. God, I hope not. Yeah, right. God, that would that would ruin the fucking game. That yeah. would that would fuck it up seriously. Because then you the, like just the line James is a bad man. Just no, like but he's that alone. Kind, though. So yeah, defeated. I defeated eighteen enemies, and we spent forty eight minutes with that. Fighting. So yeah, this was. I don't know. This was a whole lot of whatever. But we had to be thorough, right? We had to be thorough. Because I, I, if I, if I was the kind of person, it's like, wow, you guys did this amazing, amazing, stupendous world record playthrough of Silent Hill 2. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you do the sub scenario? Well, yeah. well now that's, that's now you see why now we you see why we may not we have, gone have done back, the sub our, our shitty future selves should have gone back in time. Yeah, because this, this, this will it. now be the final episode. Uh, okay. <laughs> But hey, you're asking before. It's like going coming off Evil Within, which is the least subtle thing ever made. Ever made. Oh, and look, it's doing that thing again. Go, it's haunted. Oh, it's my it's my D pad gets stuck. Okay, the least subtle thing ever made. Yeah. Like going back to this. Oh, the D pad gets stuck in both directions. Like I I I honestly really enjoyed it. Like at first I was kind of like ah, this voice acting is just like. Back in the day, would have been acceptable, but now, but then I got used to it because everyone's kind of weird Never, sounding. So and now you finally get what I meant in like that very first part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure, I'll overwrite it. I don't sure. know what this is. This is gonna be. I don't what? know what that saves it as. I don't know either. It'll be amazing. But it doesn't matter, because I'm not coming back to this with a different no, save I, I game. I think we heavily canvassed it. No, we're done. Yeah, we we're did done. It. We did High five, it. we did it. Yeah. Silent Hill's defeated. Uh, oh, it's that was a really shitty one. Yeah. Oh, that was also poor. Th these are terrible. Oh. Okay, bye! Bye! <laughs>